Hi. So we're gonna go back to Fountain Blue tonight, and I consider it a $3.7 billion failure until they right the ship. So we're gonna go explore it, and I don't know if they're gonna kick us out or not. I have no clue. We're in Fount we're in the uh, Resorts World right now. I like Resorts World. I wouldn't consider this a failed property. There's a ton of people here at any given moment, and they have a lot of uh, traffic for conventions. So what I'm gonna say is that I'm gonna explore the Fountain Blue so you don't have to explore the Fountain Blue. And then you can make the decision of whether or not you wanna spend your time coming up. Roger D is in the house. How's it going, Roger D? Bob Dingo is here, or it's Dob Bingo. Oh, I just got it. I just figured it out. Bingo Dobbers, right? So it's like when you're playing bingo, you get that thing and you go, blub, blub, blub. James says, how dare you? I'm on a spicy mood. Nicole Woodruff is here, nice to see you. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I started banning people who wanna call me out because I have a Patreon and I'm not taking no prisoners, man. I, I don't need you to, to be arguing with me because I produce over a thousand videos for free plus all these live streams. So you guys can subscribe to the Patreon and uh, patreon.com slash not leaving Las Vegas if you want to. You can support us that way, but you don't have to. Is there a part of rent control? No, the rents are too darn high. Frosty Dossie says, good for you. Sean from Ireland is here. I do the worst Irish accent, Sean. Do you want to hear my Irish accent? You'll never watch me ever again. Good to, ready to, what is this? Ready to screen record in case I get arrested. If I get arrested, that is the best thing that could ever happen to my channel, dog. I mean, I'll have my, I'll have my moment. It'll be the moment. Yeah, the bad impression. I did the bad impression on uh, St. Patrick's Day. Kool-Aid Man is here. Seen it on your other live. Oh no, you're still here. That's cool. Matthew Ross is here. Uh, Matt Hugh is here. Deb V is here. Linda Perryman is here. Thanks so much for being here. We got a policy when it gets to 100, we have to go. It's at 99, can I get 100? Can I get 100? What is Steven with street cred? I got no street mm -hmm. cred. I'm just a poser according to people. I figured it out today. I spend $2,300 a year on software for editing my videos, for audio, for optimizing stuff, for teleprompter applications. I spend a lot of money on stuff. And I have this Patreon where I post up little bits of content that you can't see anywhere. Also, I have, um, I have uh, my, uh, my, my channel memberships, which you can join too and you'll get extra stuff there. So we're gonna get some water here in Resorts World. This is another property they could conceivably kick me out of because they have a no bloggers policy here. So we'll see. I mean, it just it really depends. Come on, can I get my camera to straighten out? Thank you so much. Straighten out and fly right camera. So I like Resorts World because they have these, um, it's fountain blue, it's fountain silver. What's up? Uh, I travel to Vegas three times a year, traveling back again in June. Cool, cool. Yeah, I like that they have the fountains because you don't gotta spend a stupid amount on water. That's good. I tried to park at Westgate today. I couldn't find any parking at Westgate. That was no bueno, but uh, I like Westgate. It's a cool thing. Uh, they're making a baseball stadium. John Gray likes the fun life. I'm just tired of it, man. You know, when I started watching um, YouTubers back in the day, I was, I'm not gonna name names now because um, no reason to, but I got, you know, I saw them ban people off social media and it made me like upset. I'm like, how dare you ban folks? And I'm like, that's not right. But you know what? The thing is, I want to, run this like a business. And I did that video on social media censorship the other day, yesterday. And I said, think about it this way. You wouldn't let somebody come into your, uh, if you had a cake shop, you wouldn't let somebody come into your cake shop and start talking smack about your employees or saying that your product causes, you know, epilepsy seizures. You tell them to leave. So that's what it is. I'm okay if you disagree with me, but not if it's just over the top. All right. We're in Resorts World. I like Resorts World. I think it's beautiful, but it does share the whole Vegas doesn't have any kind of uh, originality anymore. The shareholders of Genting Resorts World salute you. The minute I get kicked out of this place for recording myself, I'm gonna know that's a lie. That's it, it's not a lie. Man, I am not a fan of the new... Here. He's 
rocking a jersey that I can totally get behind. The great one, baby. I would love to pick up a Wayne Gretzky shirt. I wonder how much they are on eBay. Bob Bingo was 86. Of course he was. He went into the resort when it wasn't even supposed to be open for the public yet. And he pretended to be a big YouTuber who was invited in to the show. That's going to happen if you do that. You can't do that kind of stuff. But I'm going when it's open to the public. Walking towards Main Street. Oh, cool. Brisbane is hoping hosting the Summer Olympics in 2032, but currently they are in a debacle. What to do because the cost is exaggerating above the 3.4 billion. They're thinking of canceling it. Well, I mean, look, if Brisbane is gonna, that's that, but that's the thing. That's 3.4 billion Australian dollars. That's like a million U.S. dollars. I'm just messing with you, by the way. But the Australian dollar is what 60 cents to the U.S. dollar. Oh, but think about if you host that Olympics. You can have the prestige, but quick, name five cities that have hosted the Summer Olympics. I can't. Well, maybe I could actually. Let me think here. London, England. Um, uh, Hong Kong, China, or was it, it was Hong Kong, China, right? Was it Hong Kong, China? That's two. So London, England, Hong Kong, China. Sydney already hosted the games. So you guys should just do it in Sydney. You already have the facilities. Uh, where else? Number three. Um, number three, Los Angeles had it once. That's number four, actually. So we got four. Let me think of a fifth place. Oh, Germany. They hosted a Summer Olympics, but that, was, that wasn't a good Summer Olympics. That was like Nazi Olympics. <laughs> Tokyo, London, Los Angeles. Also Seoul, Seoul, South Korea. 1988 Seoul Korea hosted the Olympics. John Nice with the super chat lighten us up. Thank you, John. We're gonna go to the Fountain Blue, Fontaine Blue. We're gonna see if they decide that we're not allowed there. Uh, I hope it's busy because they need something going on. Boston wants the Summer Olympics. Park the car, that's an event in Boston. You gotta park the car at have a yard in Boston. You gotta go to a Red Sox game. Go and beat somebody up at the Bruins at Boston Gardens. Oh, isn't it a nice day out? Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's beautiful. For Russia. Yes, there was a horrible, tragic incident today in Russia. Man, oh man, I can't unsee that video. Do me a favor. I mean, like, if you're online, don't just, if you, it says graphic, man. There is this video floating around today. Don't watch it. It's of the, um, the the shooting in Moscow at a theater that happened. It was Beijing, China. Okay, right. John says, beauty moss. Absolutely beautiful. What's going on with my gimbal? Don't tell me I need to replace the correct gimbal. Stay at Resorts World, we need more marketing. Okay, but this place here, I, let's go look at Resorts World for a bit. Then we're going to head on over here to the, the Facebook hotel, FB. I saw a commercial for this yesterday uh, during hockey. We were watching the Golden Knights beat up the worst team in the NHL, the Kraken. They suck. I hate the Kraken. No, I don't hate the Kraken. I hate the Edmonton Oilers. But anyways, Pittsburgh is here. Is MLB coming to Vegas? I guess. MLB is coming to Vegas, I suppose. These guys are from the UK. You can tell because of the shorts and the sandals and the fact that it's not really warm today and they're wearing shorts and sandals. It's a style. They, they wear short shorts in the UK. The state of Brisbane is under debacle because two parties are arguing about the cost and the other to reduce the Olympic Games or cancel. The committee says they need to speed up no time for thinking yeah well it's a giant disco ball that's cool so let's go upstairs there's not much you know what are we supposed to explore here resorts world needs marketing i mean should you come to resorts world yeah i think it's worth it but look it's a shopping mall dog Maybe a cool place up here. We're gonna go up the escalator and see if it's open. It's usually closed off, but it's a neat little lookout. 
So, yeah, I mean, this place is busier than ever. Big fan, the A's are coming here, Matthew says. I didn't know you knew that. Matthew, what about that, uh, what about that, uh, that group that's trying to add a referendum point to our election in November to let the people vote on whether or not they wanted to spend that money? Yeah, they aren't, they don't care where they go. They'll go anywhere. They're what you call whores. Now, now it's not the players. See, I believe the, the fans and the players are good folks that just want to see success. But the ownership of the athletics are what you call prostitutes. And a prostitute is somebody who will do anything for money. And that's what the ownership group of the athletics is. They don't care where they go. Just give me money. Give me money. How much money can I have? Excuse me, can I have some money? It's only like be with some butthead. Uh, can I have some money? It's a shopping mall with a casino. That's pretty much it. But it's beautiful in here. I'm here. I'm happy you're back streaming. Thank you, Greek couple. Yeah, so we got our streams. The channel's been growing at a rapid clip. I'm so grateful for that. How do I go upstairs? I think I go up here. This might be where we end our journey, kids. Let's see here. Let's all get together and state the Campbell preamble. That rhymes. Pledge viewership. I'm a disabled vet. I'm thinking of moving to Vegas. Um... I would say know where the VAs are, because there's a few of them out here. I've heard good things about the Veterans uh, Administration out here. I've heard that they do right. Um, I don't know much about your situation, but I want to thank you for your service, because you didn't have to pledge your life and give it to the country, uh, and you did. So we could all complain about politics and argue over two elderly men and which one should lead our country next. So thank you. Uh, but I would say find a place that's closer to the VA that you want to be in and um, I, everybody every veteran's got a different situation some of them are really well off some are not very well off but let's see if this door is open oh nice let's see if this door is open Woohoo! nice look at this they set up chairs for our channel meetup i forgot to tell you we're doing a channel meetup on the patio over here at resorts world just kidding but this is cool wow they put out free water for me <laughs> oh my gosh resorts world really knows how to open the door for bloggers this is the point where a man um just tethers down the side of the building we're all decked out in swat gear and just pounces on me <laughs> oh okay give betty k a shout out hey betty k look at that view it's pretty nice up here right so it's pretty cool. So by the way, I mean, I'm a blown away. I've been doing those Sunday morning live streams and I'm gonna keep doing the Sunday morning live streams. Like, honestly, why would I do any other time? I mean, uh, I got you guys as a captive audience, you know, and I'm able to bring you guys to places I never go to. This is where I'd like to do my whole channel. Like, if I could just do the channel from up here, be like, what's up guys, back here at Resorts World, we are, giving you a channel update as we have the beautiful Las Vegas Strip at the Not Leaving Las Vegas Broadcast Center up here on the patio. By the way, Resorts World has one of the best restaurants in town with Red Tail, beautiful little bar pub. They have the giant beer pong and so on and so forth and yada yada this and yada yada that. But that won't happen because uh, they got big names on the marquee. That's what it is. So just moved from Vegas a week ago. Aisha Hardy Shelton says, it's a joke, but this is a really nice view up here. That's kind of cool. So yeah, so what we're talking about the VA and the Veterans Administration and stuff like that. Yeah, just make sure that you know where you're gonna live and where you're gonna need that water is. Well, they're obviously like, look, they were doing something up here. They probably had, you know, Bill Gates up here telling you about how they need to block out the sun or something like that. Uh, but this is what they do sometimes. This water, it tastes weird. It, it doesn't taste all that good. But I'm going to drink it anyway. It's free water. Free water in the desert, ladies and gentlemen. So you can get up here by just going up the escalators on the north, or sorry, the south end of Resorts World. And you can see the entire strip from here. Now, if it gets windy, I do have my um, 
my lavalier microphone with my little uh, dead mouse, dead cat. I love it here, Mr. Primetime says. Michael Postguy, I've been following me for four years. Thank you. Well, we're going to go to Fountain Blue next. We're going to see if it'll make it. Is Resorts World my favorite place? I notice you go there quite often. It's because they have free parking, bro. I don't care about Fountain Blue, Resorts World. I mean, I care about them, but they have free parking. All you got to do is download the Resorts World Las Vegas app and install it and give it all your information so they can push special offers to you and then you'll get it for free at no charge. Have I tried the SpongeBob ride in Circus Circus? Zestilia is saying, Jesus Christus. I wish you wouldn't use the Lord's name in vain. She says it's clickbait. So what's clickbait about it? So there's a property over there. That's called the Fountain Blue. It opened up on December 13th of 2023. It opened on a weekday so they could sing happy birthday to its uh, to its owner. That's I'm not joking. So they could have a birthday party for its owner on December 13th. They didn't choose to open up when there'd be people here. No, 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 no. No, don't do it when there's people in town. Do it on December 13th. Now, that, that building right there, so you say it's clickbait. That building took nearly 30, 20 years to build, 17 years. It was halted and stopped. It was sold about three or four times. Its entire insides were liquidated out to, uh, by, uh, by, um, out by, um, oh my gosh, his name is completely, I can't think of it right now, uh, the Wall Street billionaire. Uh, and uh, it opened up and there's no, there's no patrons in it. It's empty. So I don't know if it's clickbait. I certainly wouldn't call that a successful property. This one here opened up about what, a couple years ago. It opened up in June on a weekend, I believe. So yeah, I wouldn't say it's clickbait. F1 tickets on sale soon. Do you think there'll be any issues with the event this year? No, I think we all, here's the thing. It can't get worse, hey Pestle. It can't get worse than it was. So, <laughs> you know, it's like, where do you go? You can only go up from what last year was. So I don't, I don't think it'll be any worse. So this is Resorts World down here. We've actually eaten at this place here. That's actually a really good restaurant. They do Asian cuisine. So there you go. Adelson Coker Stouffer. No, it was um, not Warren Buffett. My goodness. Uh, Carl Icahn. It was Carl Icahn. Carl Icahn was the guy. He bought it on foreclosure for literally no money, but $100 million. And then he turned around and sold all the insides and everything for probably to cover as much and make his money back. And then he actually sold it and flipped it over to the Drew Project. The Drew Project failed because of COVID-19 and because they probably didn't have the money. It needed to have about a billion dollars of construction inside of it when it was at that stage. So that's a big obligation and a big ask to get funded. So there's not much more to see in Resorts World. I love you, Wall Street Warlord. If they really want to work with me, tell them to call me. Um, so let's see, it sure looks like a shopping mall stacked with a hotel. There's three hotels here, right? Crockford's, <coughs> the Cromwell, and the Hilton. So we're gonna go up towards the Fontaine Blue. I don't think it's clickbait. Love y'all for watching liking sharing oh my gosh i guarantee you the wind just got really bad in your ears guys and gals of the jury how's the wind it's pretty bad yeah will i miss the tropicana i certainly will i want to be going to the tropicana this week i'm going to be filming in there not because it gave me any kind of special permission but because we got our new camera for the channel i'm actually carrying it right now tacos sound good they smell good too Hoping to see some views of the newly opened pool. We'll see if we can go to the pool. It was open on grand opening night. Let's we'll see if we can get out that way. Again, officially, unofficially, we're not supposed to go in there with a camera without like uh, written permission. You know, this is our taco night at the family. We go to Roberto's Tacos. So here we go. External mic is connected so you guys can hear me. Can I get a mic check? Can I get a mic check? Mic check! One, two. Okay, friends went to the Fountain Blue opening and said it was packed. Of course it was packed on the opening. You know that. Absolutely it's packed. Yeah, it was the opening of the property. It was every local and looky-loo in town. 
but that doesn't mean it's packed now. What's up, William Garcia? I haven't seen you for a while. Aaron Jones says, long live the Stardust. This used to be the location for the Stardust Resort. Diego's here from Argentina. Hello, Argentina. Very cool. So we put our we put our mic on the phone. I don't know. I mean, I don't watch a lot of Vegas live streams, so I'm assuming they're all using microphones with uh, sound protection. Jimbo stayed. Very interesting to see this. What property on a busy Saturday during March Madness? Yes, they're charging thousands of dollars to watch March Madness at Fountain Blue as well. My gimbal is acting wonky. I'm gonna have to start using my my backup that I bought some time ago when money was better. Just sitting on my shelf. What's up, Linda? It's possible Fountain Blue will suffer the same fate as Ravel at Atlantic City after three years. It's clear Resorts World is making it. Yes, and I mean, everybody said Resorts World was a failure too, and I said it's not. But you gotta remember the circumstances under which Resorts World opened. 2021, there was no international travel coming into the country. Uh, there was mostly, mostly uh, domestic travel coming in. A lot of stimulus money being thrown around, brand new brand, but they did okay. They did okay. So I like Resorts World. The new Stardust, maybe. Some say that this property right here is actually cursed. So we're walking, if you're just joining us, my name is Steven, I'm not leaving Las Vegas. We're walking towards the Fountain Blue. This, uh, this building right up here, even though it looks unfinished, <laughs> let's be honest, that looks unfinished. It really does. It was $3.7 billion in 17 years in the making. Is it true that I'm going to be the next mayor? I can't be the mayor. It's a couple of things. I don't live in the city requirements. You gotta live in the city of Las Vegas. Secondly, the mayor's job, I don't think it pays all that much. It's really not, it's a civil servant job. Number three, do you know how many people are running for mayor right now? The answer is a lot people are running for mayor right now it does look undone right this is a, you think this is finished <laughs> it's not finished one thing I do think is interesting it's like they put some LED lights on the top out here I'm glad I brought the mic uh, so you can see the top it's got a little bow tie that looks like a loading sig symbol I guess <laughs> resorts world is PSG Run by rocket scientists. The Muddy Bull, thank you. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, if you guys want, hey, what's up guys? Um, oh, look at this. I wanna show you this hat. I should turn my hat on. If you guys wanna support us, you guys can do that. You wanna buy us tacos tonight? Why don't you buy us tacos tonight? I love you guys all the same. Number one, you wanna buy us tacos, go to notleavinglasvegas.com forward slash donate. You guys can drop us uh, um, a few bucks on PayPal. That'll support the stream. It's our one night for fast food. And, uh, or you can just leave us a comment or a like. That doesn't get us tacos, but it does help the channel grow. So that's good. So we have to turn on my hat. So, <laughs> by the way, we stream uh, Fridays and Sundays out here. I will never stand out. We're not standing in that taco line. See, my hat says YouTube Live on it. So I'm not gonna wear this in the casino because I'm not an idiot. But if people want to be on YouTube, they know that I'm doing YouTube Live if they watch my hat. Except that I should have turned it on before with the app and sped that up because that is very slow. But we're going to turn that off so we're not a giant tar target. Are they street tacos? No, they're not. Uh, they're actually just Roberto's tacos are fried tacos. And they're really tasty and we like them a whole lot. So what's up, Shaquille? Shaquille? Sha Shaquille? Sha Sheik? Shake? I am so sorry I butchered your name. We'll be talking to us on Sunday. Yes, we have Sundays for Sundays with Steven. That's our new series. Sundays with Steven. We're going to try to cover some of the news events at the start of the stream. And then we're going to continue on and go somewhere where you guys won't usually ever go. How is sweet Caroline? Well, she's going to get her tacos, so she'll be happy today. <laughs> well, we streamed at the Tropicana on its last day. You can't stream in the Tropicana. Uh, because there is no signal in the Tropicana. I really wish that wasn't the case. Uh, you can, when you walk, we're not gonna cross here right now. When you walk into the Tropicana because of the building on account of it being nearly 70 years old, the signal just completely dies on you, which is really unfortunate. How am I? I'm doing great, Shaquille. Are you going to Slots of Fun? No one ever goes there. Let's go to Slots of Fun, Greg says. I go there? What are you kidding me? I go there. 
Look at the cars coming out of Resorts World. See, this is what a busy property looks like. Yeah, let me go check out Slots of Fun. I ain't got no hate on Slots of Fun. We don't go into Circus Circus for the same reasons we don't go into Tropicana. Building there is nearly, what, 60, when did it open? 68, I think. 78, 88, 98, 2008, 2018. So it's nearly 60 year old building. They just don't have good reception inside. And um, so, you know, but uh, even if they did have good reception, I wouldn't go in there because of children. I just don't think it's right. You want to give the kids their chance to be kids and not put them on camera. The new show is called Vegas Streaming with Steven. Shaquille says I'm doing. I hope you're doing better. I don't know. I remember um, I used to work out here. Any Bambinos in my future? Nah, man, we ain't doing no, no, no kids. Uh, I was at Resorts World a few weeks ago. Loved it. Yeah, it's a nice little property. $4.7 billion phase. Fountain Blue. Yeah, I haven't even considered booking that place. Well, just in time. <laughs> I get it. He's just in time. It's like saying I'm just in time for the meeting. Yeah, I mean, if you're not thinking about going there, we saw a commercial, as I mentioned, on the NHL broadcast last night. It was all of 15 seconds. It's like a 15 second commercial that doesn't really say what it even is. It doesn't show the outside of the building. It just shows some people having fun. But it's like, what? Anyways, thank you guys. And if you guys want to subscribe, you can subscribe. And I never shut up on my live streams. And we're stuck in traffic right now because there is a ton of cars. There's one of those autonomous self-driving cars right there I showed you all last week. So yeah, Sundays with Steven will start early morning around 8 or 9 in the morning Vegas time. So we get around the 11 or 12 noon East Coast time. And the good thing about that is in the United Kingdom and over in England and Ireland and Scotland and Wales, uh, it's about yeah, what, 5 o'clock in the evening or something like that, which is pretty good. So that's nice just in case, right? I love it, the lawyer called just in case. So let's get going here. So when this McDonald's here called Viva McDonald's opened, it was a big deal. Back then, you still had the Westward Ho. Uh, hey, Steve-O, yeah, make sure you text me on my regular phone, Steve-O. Back then we had the, uh, the Westward Ho. My phone is acting stupid, it's bouncing around. That's better. Okay, it was unbalanced. I thought it was my gimbal. So the Westward Ho used to be sitting right here. Now there was this weird convoluted land swap that was very strange. It was like a multi-trade deal in sports where what happened was Boyd Gaming, which is still around, Boyd Gaming owned this property here, which was the Stardust. So they tear down the Stardust and they realize they're building a place, thing called Echelon Place. If you don't know what Echelon Place is, that's because that's what after they sold it. So Echelon Place, but they needed to get this little plot of land right here. This little lot, plot of land right here was owned by Caesars Entertainment, if I'm not wrong. So Boyd wanted this, but Caesar, but Boyd owned what was at that point the Barbary Coast. So the Barbary Coast is down across by the Flamingo. So here's what they did. They, Caesars was here and Boyd wanted this. And Caesars also owns the Flamingo, but Boyd owned the Barbary Coast. So they did a literal land swap. And what they did was they got the Barbary Coast and transferred it over to Caesars Entertainment. Caesars Entertainment then transferred over the Westward Ho to the Boyd Corporation. And Barbary Coast stopped being Barbary Coast because that was Boyd's name of the Coast Casinos. And uh, then it started becoming Bill's Gambling Hall. It was named after Bill Hera, of course, because that was Caesars Hera's. So that didn't make any sense. And if that was hard to understand, it was just as hard to explain it. Give me a break. You didn't pay for this stream. It's free. Canada Cup. That's what the Canadians eat their snow cones out of. Just kidding. It's actually a hockey tournament in Canada. All those people listening to me think I really think that. They're like, listen to this stupid American, eh? He really thinks the Canada Cup is what they eat their Tim Hortons out of. I don't think that. I'm Canadian by birth. This is the Viva McDonald's. And when this opened, it was a big deal, man. I remember they actually had an Elvis Presley impersonator and showgirls, and they commemorated this. And I don't know why they made such a big deal out of it. It wasn't like the Taco Bell Cantina. It's a McDonald's. That's what it is. I mean, it smells like a McDonald's. It looks like a McDonald's. <laughs> 
but it was like this new thing where they all of a sudden had nicer buildings because the McDonald's all started doing nicer buildings. If you haven't been into McDonald's for years, this is what it is now. You gotta use your app or pay on the machines. You earn points so they can fatten you up and give you more heart disease. Um, <laughs> and like, there's really hardly any place to pay for anything. So you go over here and you'll see. You know, because these used to be all just cashiers and now you just order and pick up your stuff uh, when they call your number. It's kind of weird. White McDonald's in Vegas, so many better options for the same price pistol. There's many reasons though to eat McDonald's in Vegas. Um, you might be just craving McDonald's in Vegas. That's one reason. Another reason is, like if you're like me, I like to eat McDonald's or fast food in every country I go to. I don't know, it's a weird thing. So I've eaten McDonald's in Mexico. I've eaten McDonald's in the Philippines. I've eaten McDonald's in Canada. I've eaten McDonald's in the United States. Uh, you know, also they could have special menu items that they don't have in the place you're from or the country you're from. Or you're just on a budget, you know? You're just on a budget. Here's lots of fun. So this place used to be one of the hoppinest places out there. Back in the day, whoa, I got $3 from John Neese and Kathy Neese. Thank you, John and Kathy. These are super secret link. So we're close to buying one taco. Thank you so much, John. That gets us closer. So you can go to leavinglasvegas.com forward slash donate, or you guys don't want to do that. You can email me your thoughts, nllvcontact at gmail.com. I take your emails, I will reply to you. Email me, the screen has the email on it. Let's go to Slots of Fun. So it was normal back about 25, 30 years ago, you'd come to Vegas and you would see cars sitting out here, cars. And then you would say, win this car. The only place you see a car now is downtown in front of the D Las Vegas. But um, then you got this. <laughs> so. It's really weird. I don't see anything in here that indicates anything to do with the, the, um, the prostitution in Vegas. Although there's, okay, so this is, that's how Jewish people say God because they don't use God's name, they won't print it. But there's like a weird thing. Should I touch this? Donde esta tu nombre? Donde esta tu nombre? What is your name? Is this in... Okay, that's a religious track. Should I touch this? What if there's a dead body in it? Or a... That's so weird. I don't... Ooh. Anyways, so the laws out here are pretty strict on these boxes that you see. So... But what's weird is that's not a cat house. <laughs> that's Larry Flint's and Little Darlings. But these used to be set up for... See, here it is. It'll show you the rules in Vegas. Chicken Ranch Brothel. This is the only remnants of this. This is an advertisement for going to Pahrump, which is an hour and a half away from here, a drive. Whoa, Charlie Sai, thank you for bringing me back the memories of old Vegas. We're still going in there. Thank you, Charlie Sai. So this here, I'm gonna take this because I'm actually doing, oh, there's still some stuff in here. I'm doing, um, I'm doing a full-blown video on this stuff. So I have the whole history of prostitution in Vegas and I'm doing it because I'm, I'm doing an expose. If you don't know, and I got 900 people watching, thank you so much. Um, my name is Steven, by the way. Ah! Hi, not leaving Las Vegas. I'm doing a, um, a documentary expose on prostitution in Vegas and how I think it's leading to a slew of violent deaths on the strip. And I think a prostitute was flat out murdered. So that's a video that I'm writing right now. So be sure to subscribe if you like that kind of stuff. What's up, Steven Ryan says, Vegas native here, love the streams. I'm watching here from Nashville, Music City, the 615. Nashville's in the 615. I actually work for a company and we produce a magazine called My Nashville Magazine. So there you go. Love the end of the strip 25 years ago. What's going on, brother? How you doing, Musty Jason? Love it. Measles running rampant in migrant camps. Wow, that has nothing to do with my channel, but hopefully it doesn't come here. So look, they got some stuff here. So there used to be all, like there used to be a little bar up here. There's still a bar. This place is busier than Fountain Blue right now. <laughs> That's a shot. Shots fired. This wasn't here last time we were here a few weeks ago. I hated those girly cards to put in your hands. Do they still do that? So how much is this stuff? They don't put prices on anything. They certainly don't have street prices. 
This is a good idea. Just caffeinated, caffeinated vodka. The beast. Tastes like a monster energy drink, but gets you drunk like Jack and Coke. Um, so this is lots of fun. It's pretty busy in here. Remember what we're looking at right now, because in a minute we're going across the street to see what it looks like at Fontainebleau. This place goes all the way back, but there's no there's no table games. But they, he's gonna start screaming at me. Get out! Go! <laughs> the mad circle of death. Oh man, are we getting buffering? I don't think so. Um, anyways, do they have those enormous chili dogs? Maybe in the back, but my signal started to drop, so I'm not gonna tempt the fate of the gods of the interwebs right now. Lucky things are expected to happen when the Muddy Bull is in the room. The Muddy Bull actually clips our content out and he has a Facebook group, so you might check him out online. So he takes our content and does little highlight, so highlight sizzle reels and things like this, so that's good. So you guys shouldn't be buffering now. We should be good to go. The uppers, wow, there it is. Now, I mean like seriously, Todd to the black, I feel that's the $3.7 billion failure. This is Fountain Blue. This is the one that opened in December and has like no people going into it. So that's what we're doing. We're taking a look at that one. So let's cross the street here. We have the convention center behind us, of course. We have the sphere on the other side right there. Wait. I think on Sunday, what we're going to do on our Sunday mornings, uh, Sundays with Steven, is we're going to go there and we're going to walk back to Maryland Parkway. That's a bad neighborhood. I got turned around. Uh, I got turned around in that neighborhood once because we were coming back into Vegas trying to relocate ourselves. And I was looking for a Roberto's taco shop like I will do today after, after the stream. And there was no Roberto's but there was plenty of girls that were selling tacos. Gross, son of a gun. My wife tells me not to do that gross old man humor. <laughs> so this looks like an unfinished property. It really does. The fact that the only lit lights that are all lit up or on the top level tells me something. Thanks for filling my Vegas void. Appreciate your Vegas content compared to the other channels. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Justin. So we can walk this way down to Westgate. That's an old, old, old property opened up back in the 60s. And then we have this one here. That's my neighborhood. I was 14 years gambling on a 10% slot machine. I'm 50. You gambled at age 14? Tina, you rebel you. That was a gross comment. It was. I am serious. My wife said, stop doing that gross old man humor. You're going to turn people off. Shaquille is already out. She's like, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Look at how few lights are on the rooms. Yes, I'm saying, I'm not saying. Maybe everybody's out of the show. But anyways, we're going into the Fountain Blue that decided that they're gonna have a bow tie logo, whatever. Steve, uh, you reckon Sunday live streaming in 1080p gets any better in the future? So this camera, let me show you something. I feel like Fire Marshal Bill. Let me show you something. So I actually have this in my back pocket. So this is a pocket DJI Pocket 3, and uh, this apparently does 4K streaming, at least DJI says it does, but you can't stream from the phone that way, and I don't know if that's the case. YouTube does allow for, 10, for uh, 4K streaming, but uh, I don't know if you can do it from that one. They say you can, but whether or not it's enabled in the software is completely different. I wonder what people don't like about it. See, so, let's get something clear. I like this property. I just think that it's a boondoggle. It's a failure. It doesn't mean it's a bad place. Look, there's lots of movies. Waterworld was a movie that I enjoyed, but it failed financially. So like, hey, we need a water feature. Dad, just, just put a car in the fountain out front. Why? Because it's fountain blue and we need a fountain. Well, hey, so that's how the meeting went, right? They went to the guy, they went to the guy and they said, hey, we want to have a water feature out front. So what are you thinking? Do we go with like the Bellagio? Maybe we do something like a small little fountains of Bellagio. Maybe we can put like a, a cool sculpture made out of water out there. And they went to the, guy, the guy's cousin, the cousin of the owner, who's a little slow. And he said, I like to put a car upside down. 
and like it's like it was driven off the roof. And he said, well, what does that symbolize? He says, it's a car and it's like it's driving into Guada. And they looked at the uh, owner and he said, just, he's a little slow, just do what he wants. That's not, that's not, that never happened. I don't know that the owner of Fountain Blues, uh, the CEO's brother, I don't even know if he has a brother, but that's a car. That's cool. <laughs> but, I mean, like, it's a car and it's into water. And so here's what this is. I'm gonna tell you what this is, okay? So check this out, all right? Now, now, now dig it, right? So see in there, you have a giant sphere that displays amazing looking light shows. And people take Instagram photos of that. And then the sphere is huge and people take Instagram photos of that, the MSG sphere. And then Caesar's Palace has an animatronic show that people post online. So what they're all trying to do is they're all trying to create that Instagrammable spot. So people have to stop and it's called being remarkable, which is like things that are unremarkable, you don't remark on, you don't talk about, right? So like, look, this guy, it's working. This guy's doing it. He's doing it. Come on, do it. Take that photo. And for the record, somebody told me what this car was. I think it's like a, I don't know what this is. 1923 Buick Carmichael. I don't know cars. I just made a So that is a, whatever that is. What is that car? Can somebody tell me? Looks like the North Korean car. See, Michael knows it. He ate a Mc, Mc spaghetti burger in the Philippines. I don't think that's a thing. Oh, that's a... That's a Galaxy 500. Who made a Galaxy 500? Tell me. I miss Riviera. They had great breakfast, 99 cents, and a great band, Lon Bronson All-Star Band. And uh, it's windy out here. You can see the cool water effect going. So if you guys don't know, um, I want you guys to consider joining the Patreon because we're gonna be posting a lot more content with that camera drill that I just showed you. And that's a Ford, okay, Ford Galaxy 500. And so you guys can do that. It's patreon.com forward slash not leaving Las Vegas. You can join completely for free if you just want to see what it's all about. But all the content is behind a paywall because I'm a complete prick, according to people online. But <laughs> I say that with the most love that you can imagine. I'm just so tired of it. I make fun of them. They're like, you paywalled it. Yeah, and I do like through two live streams and a video every week. And I spend 25 hours on top of my regular life. Go pay five bucks, it's 16 cents a day. You're gonna get more content. Like for example, after this stream, we're gonna go and, and uh, take, the, take that little camera, which makes perfect 4K 60, and we're gonna go through this property with commentary and my personal thoughts. That video might be 20 or 30 minutes long on my personal extra thoughts on this. And you'll get that on Patreon for $4.99 a month, or you can pay $100 a month and make my day. But uh, go check out patreon.com forward slash not leaving Las Vegas. So, like for example, this is really cool. This is called Breakfast. It's a marble stainless steel motors computer software. And what this is really doing here is um, this is actually telling you this is the waves in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So this is actually visualizing the tides off the coast of San Juan, Puerto Rico right now. So if you're on the beach in San Juan, Puerto Rico, this is what this would look like. It would look like a giant matrix-like metallic. The waves in San Juan, Puerto Rico will kill you because they're made out of metal. Just kidding. But it's kind of simulating the flow, right? Just Google it. It's a 1966 Ford. Yeah, Ford Galaxy 500. Thank you, Nicole. Nah, bro, Justin says, charge whatever you feel is fair. People get used to it. It is, it's, I bet it's gimmicky. What I'm wondering is, and I don't know what these are. This is probably security cameras so they can strike down their enemies. Um, so this is, yeah. Welcome to Fountain Blue. It's Friday night and it's March Madness. Let's see if there's anybody here. 330, 344 is the cheapest room for tonight. That's why there's no lights. No one's there. You know what they should do is light the rooms up anyways. Because I'm gonna tell you, those lights are not expensive. So light the rooms up, light the lights up. There's nobody here. There's nobody here, bro. There's nobody here. I'm just telling you. But this place is kind of neat. So we're gonna take a nice uh, slow stroll. I do like the, um, the roof here, how high it is. And then the gaming pits have a lower roof on it. So I think that's pretty cool. It is nice in here. Oh, uh, listen, 
It's fine. Look, I've seen movies with amazing special effects that look amazing, but the movie was bad and it bombed. I guess Third Eye Blind is going to play here. That's cool. So they finally have some entertainment coming. Is there a resort fee? Oh, yeah. Kidding me? 100%. Of course there's a resort fee. These properties are all going to have resort fees so they can have a guaranteed income stream off all their room bookings. Mike Lee. Mike Lee's in the house. How you doing, Mike Lee? Other popular Vegas YouTuber in his live stream last night. Never heard of Daniel Negranu. Please tell me who isn't... Okay, I, you know, Daniel Negranu is either a chef or a poker player. One of those two, for some reason. Linda Renninger. Hello, Wisconsin. What's my thought on bed bugs? We're going in July. I want to avoid hotels with bed bugs. Um, every hotel can have bed bugs, potentially. It's not a reflection on the hotel if they have bed bugs. Uh, bed bugs can latch themselves on to handbags. You can sit in a you can sit in an airplane seat and have a bed bug get himself under the seam of your of your pant leg, and then you go into the room and now there's bed bugs in the room, but you don't know about it. So, if you're worried about bed bugs, just pull back the comforters, look for little stains, look in the actual mattress because they're in the mattresses. Um, make sure you look for little shells of, of bugs and little cracks in the room. Great Canadian poker player. So there you go. So I knew Daniel was a poker player. There's not a lot of people, but there's more people than there were last time. So yeah, but still a lot of, a lot of dead folks. Not dead folks, it's, it's dead folks. It's dead comma folks. Not a lot of people here. But this place so far is not off the charts. And there was this really weird travel and leisure magazine. It was like the top 10 hotels, right? Let's check this out. Travel and Leisure Magazine did a top 10 list of the 10 best hotels in Vegas. This place beat the Venetian. <laughs> this place beat the Venetian Hotel. It said it was, this place was better than the Venetian. How is you saying that to me? <laughs> the chandelier is pretty cool though. I like it. But, th but this again, this has been done. Uh, the chandelier over at Cosmo opened up over what, 15 years ago almost. Armin says that place will boom over F1. Yeah, that's a good point. We're gonna walk upstairs and see if the food court's busy. Well, what I'm wondering is like, look, if you wanna attract people in, so they have a theater here and they're doing like a three, th I'm not joking you, they're doing a $3,000 watch party here. $3,000 for a watch party. What? What? Who's that hip hop guy that would say, what? <laughs> Bring your own bed bugs in case the hotel doesn't have any. Bed bugs are horrible. Don't pick up furniture and bring it into your house. You think it's like, oh, a computer chair, it looks brand new. Don't do it. It's that way lies terror, you know? All these reviews from those groups are paid to say certain things. Oh yeah, it's pay for play. I don't mind pay for play. Dude, I, I do pay for play. I sell advertising. Pay, everything is a pay for play. But that was disingenuous. So yeah, you guys might go to patreon.com forward slash not leaving Las Vegas because like I say, see, this is pretty busy in the bar area here in the center, I gotta say. And so one part of the hotel is busy and then you have these large swatches where there's nobody in here. But this place should be wall to wall with people on a Friday night, but it is only its fourth month. So we have to give it that. So yeah, go to Patreon. You're going to get like, like I say, as I'm testing this camera out, you guys are going to get extra content where I have to get used to using the camera, Alexander Wang. So this is, yeah. What in the hell am I even looking at? What is this? I've heard of chastity belts, chastity belts, but this is ridiculous. Most of these Vegas YouTubers basically paid by ho the hotels. Most of these Vegas YouTubers are paid by the, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know if that's what's going on. So somebody here is suggesting, Justin Time says that he thinks, what, what the heck? What, where does this go? Whoa. Oh man, this has got one of them Circa escalators. This is big. I don't care, I'm shouting. Um, let's go up the big escalator. 
So I, I don't know if that's the case. So just in time doing that, these, um, these, uh, these hotels are going to be paying bloggers. I'm not sure that that's the case. What I suspect is really happening is that a lot of the bloggers in Vegas think that if they're nice to the hotels, they'll be maybe welcomed to work together or maybe they'll get some kind of comps. And, and, I, and I don't know if that's the case. The Circa escalators up to Stadium Swim are several fold bigger than this, but this is still a big one. So I don't think they're being paid. I think what they're doing is, look at this. Oh, I am literally getting vertigo <laughs> looking at that. That is like, you don't want to get drunk on this escalator, kids. You will be in for a bad time. Um, but I think I think what ends up happening is a lot of bloggers they they want they want to cooperate with the casinos and I'd like to do that I just think that it's better to tell you all the truth I just don't think it's you know am I cutting out let's uh let's do this now my microphone is disconnected it's not like oh well I took a I took an escalator to nowhere question of the day why why would you have the escalators operating if you can't go out here and you can't see the pool because the pool is behind the bamboo and the trees. Oh, that's a bummer, bro. That's a bummer. Imagine an old lady falling backwards on there. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, right, am I back on the caffeine? No, no, no. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If you can't hear me, you might go in and out of the, um, of the broadcast. Sometimes that helps, but I don't want to lose my whole broadcast. Uh, no, I actually started using Maca today. Can you guys hear me? Do I have audio? I know I have an audio indicator that's going up and down. Let me know if you can hear me. Can I get a sound track? It takes 30 seconds between me saying something and you see, hearing it because, or you texting it back to me. So we're on the big escalator going up and down here. I know that I have audio because I have an audio indicator and it's showing that the audio is happening. No, <laughs> shut up. Jake Weisenberg, I like your sense of humor. Bob Bingo can't hear me, Bob Bingo. Well, apparently some people can and some people can't. Somebody type in the text. If you can't hear me, just go uh, refresh the page, refresh the stream, because that seems to be the issue over here. So yeah, so now we got this dude up here. So we're gonna walk around this place. Nobody here. Go to Sahara, it's really nice. I like Sahara. The problem with Sahara is, even though I have both Verizon Wireless and T-Mobile in my phone, I can't get either signal to come through the Saharas. 70 year old facade mr classic tv thank you so much there you go if you guys want to buy us our one day a week treat we do junk food go to notleavinglasvegas.com forward slash donate we'll get that right away and you guys can fund my wife and i having a mini date night after we do the uh, the live stream thank you guys so much if you guys haven't done so you should subscribe if you guys want to do something free you can email me nllvcontact at gmail.com you can send me hate mail you can send me love mail I'll, uh, I'll reply either way. So my email's on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to reach out to us on um, the uh, Sundays. We do Sundays with Steven. It's gonna be a new type of broadcast. Sundays with Steven, I know where I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna go. Actually, I forgot where I was gonna go, but it was right in my head where I was gonna go. I think I know. Well, we're gonna do something that'll knock your socks off that you've never seen before. This is a shopping mall on the second level. <laughs> It goes here and then it stops. I, this is like there's security guards here. And if you actually look at the signs, it'll say nowhere. And you are literally walking to nowhere. There's drip bars. Jake is at a loss. I'm at a loss. This place is ultra confusing. This is supposed to be a Cartier display. Now, I'm not saying that this is a bad idea, but if you don't know, this is one of the nicest brands in fashion and it's Cartier but people in this country call it Cartier because Jacques Cartier was a French explorer that discovered New France and Canada so the idea here is they're just gonna put stuff in these boxes so you just put stuff in these boxes and as you can see these boxes easily move and I'm sure that if I had a Shaquille O'Neal hand I could just lift that up so good luck on that retail side no wonder it's empty so let's go downstairs and walk the property some more. Subscribe if you haven't done so. You guys subscribing tells YouTube that we're doing a good job and you want to see more of what I'm doing. And uh, I appreciate y'all. The whole hotel looks like a shopping mall. 
That is exactly what they did at Resorts World as well. I love these flowers. These are real live plants down there, so I give them 10 giant credits for that. Yeah, we can't really go into Circus Circus, but Slots of Fun was just busier than this, which says a lot. So that's actually the north end that goes across the street. So we're gonna go over to the main lobby area and see if there's anybody checking in now. It's that, is that, yeah, we're in Circus Circus. We're in the billion dollar renovation of Circus Circus. Now we're exploring the Fountain Blue. Um, I wanted to, I want this place to succeed, so I'm not a hater. I just don't see it succeeding with what they're doing in this direction. Like, you know, it's a weird, it's a tomb. I'm gonna go see if the duck has gotten cheaper. We have an inside thing at the channel about the duck. The duck is very expensive here. So we got the check-in area over here. Lots of live plants, or dead plants. Linda remembers when you win a car. There you go. I don't know if Linda is current, because I was talking about the car about 20 minutes ago in front of the slots of fun. So that's some good stuff. I thought I heard Sir. When you hear Sir at a property, you're like, you pretend like you don't hear it. You just keep walking like you're not doing anything wrong. You gotta be like the Carly Simon song, you know? Well, you walked in to the party like you was walking into. Did you see the sun? These are real orchids. Real orchids. I won't touch them because they're delicate. Real roses. They must have a tremendous budget for this. Scott says 925 people. Thank you guys for watching. So these are real. Smells really good here. This is the um, this is the check-in area of Fountain Blue. And uh, it's weird. It looks like you're in a pod. You're being beamed up. There's nobody at the check-in desk. Like, <laughs> what do we got? Two, one party here and one party there. It's Friday. Okay? It's Friday. This ain't the way to do it, Fountain Blue. Tacos are like $10 each. Fountain Blue looks like an airport terminal. I don't know. I like it. I like the looks. I think the looks looks. I think it looks good. But I just don't think. See, like, I just don't think it's that. I don't think this is it. I like the. the I like this because they use like an old Miami theme. For this, this is like the letter F. And I thought at first this was Vegas old school, but this is not. You gotta remember, Fountain Blue is an old hotel property from Miami that defined luxury in the Miami area in Florida. So here's our, our check-in area. I really love this check-in area. This is dope. I think it's fantastic. Um, the blue, oh man. Why can't it look like this everywhere on the front of the building? Isn't that slick? Modern, but not inviting. We got one wedding party out here. And there's like nobody in this valet. So I had to cut through the valet. Which one did I go through and I made a mistake? Westgate's valet. There was a guy, so the valet comes out this way. In the valet, you're gonna have stopping lanes and you're gonna have a through lane, all right? The through lane will go around and that way you don't have to clog up traffic. There was a guy driving Uber. I felt really, I felt compassionate for him because he was an older gentleman, but he's driving Uber and he decides he's gonna stop in the through lane. And it was like packed over Westgate, not packed here. Incredible design, it is really nice, the design is, Beautiful look. Look at the attention to detail, okay? So the logo is the bow tie, as you may have seen. And so they actually custom cut these dye stickers to stick on the door, which is really nice. <clears throat> and by the way, there's a switch on all these doors in Vegas. So you can just wave your hands in the air and holler like you just don't care. So we're gonna go back into Fountain Blue now. The feng shui of the front entrance design is to sucker people and it's called the Bat Cave. Hey, last airbender, you're smart on the feng shui. <coughs> you're not allowed to sit here. Oh, wow, that is burned etched. No, that's a sticker. And then you shouldn't throw your trash here because it looks really terrible when a YouTuber comes in and shows your live stream and you have trash 
strewn about your front lobby. It's one piece of garbage, I know. Shut up, Campbell. Somebody asked me to give this place a second shot and they said, be nicer to it. So I came here. And so we're exploring it, okay? So I don't know if they plan on this becoming retail around here, but this is pretty barren. looks like a lot of high-end places. Yeah, I mean, there's only a few architectural firms in the world that can design something like this. So I imagine they're probably responsible for a lot of this and Resorts World and, you know, but this is definitely a sea shift change in how things are gonna look. If you guys want to, you can support us on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash not leaving Las Vegas. The reason being is simple. Uh, we're testing a camera that we got for general content we're going to be going through places like this with this camera, which will take fantastic low light video. This is a this is a microphone on top, so I'll be mic'd up and I'll give you my commentary that I won't give you here as I walk through it. So this is a resort map, a directory. So we have several levels up here. Levels two and three, promenade, Miami Slice. We're gonna go see some restaurants next up here. So yeah. I just signed up for a year. Thank you, Frank. Killer, dude. We can cash that out early. It's like sending me a, you know, that's like sending me a donation on, on PayPal. But, you know, they, when you pay in advance in a year, we can actually access that right away. That's very nice of you, Frank. So yeah, I'm gonna be filming stuff like this after the stream. We're gonna be doing different content with that. Our goal is to actually document the inside of all the properties, but you can't usually bring a camera in because they're too big and bulky. Hence why I said until they kick us out. So we got graph coming soon. The most fabulous jewels in the world. The family jewels, of course. And uh, we got a pretty empty casino area. Carbine One! Thank you, Carbine One. That's super nice of you. Appreciate you very, very much. Carbine One sent him 955. Thank you. Subscribe to the channel while you're here. I have to tell you 500 times to subscribe. So now we got some rewards. What's this all about? So you can join the Fountain Blue Rewards today and instantly unlock a $15 free credit on the slots and $15 on the beverages. That's good. Food and beverage, you scan that QR code. If anybody watching wants to scan, you can do it right now. And uh, limited to new Fountain Blue Rewards blue tier members. I don't know what a blue tier is. Cannot be combined with any other promotion. For full terms, visit here in the rewards desk on the casino floor. Okay. So there you have it. Less fun, more glitz. Yeah, maybe. Um, they still have employees driving the sweeper. The cars are automatic locally. Check out the sports book. Let's go find that. I don't know where that is. We got some AI generated imagery here for Cartier. And for some reason that I can't tell you, they chose not to use an image of Vegas on this mural. It's still a nice photograph, but Cartier is not opening until summer of next year, so the retail is not all online. We have the restrooms down here. China Club. China. <laughs> Somebody famous says, High Limit South Valve Conference Center. Let's walk a little bit more. So a lot of deadness here. Go into High Limits, it's weird, $100 tables. So one of the primary cardinal rules of the casino is never, ever film the high limit area, ever. I learned this from a security guard over at the um, Excalibur one day when I was delivering, my wife used to make face masks back in the day. And I was doing a drop off of face masks and I was taking still photos and I aimed at the high limit area, like this is the high limit slots. And the guard asked me to delete them out of my phone or be escorted out and I complied. And I said, why? And he says, the high limit areas are highly guarded. They're worried about people tampering with the machinery or casing the joint. The, high limit, the windows at the casino cages are also a big no -no. So we have high limits over here. That is the high limit room. So we're not going to be wandering into there. This is the China Club in Las Vegas. Everything, I swear to you, everything in this, you can't actually read anything. They do those weird fonts, you know? Let's see here. It's absolutely beautiful. It'd be better when the retail opens and they catch their groove. They do need a thing like the concert conservatory or a specific cool thing available at FB. Yes, all the casinos, they need to have a reason to drive you into the door. Because this ain't good luck for them. It's very contemporary. 
Like, I think this says washing potato. I, I don't know. Because somebody in their in, in their in their wisdom decided to make it a weird looking neon. I mean, tell me that doesn't say washing potato. Does that say washing potato? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but look, I am not looking, see, any P.T. Barnum once said, all publicity is good publicity, even bad publicity. But I'm not looking to do something careless, like go into the high limit area with the camera. This is closed still. This place here, they're advertising is open, but it's been closed since day one, unfortunately. It's a very nice looking restaurant that's just a ghost town where nobody is here. So for example, I asked you guys to text me uh, story ideas, and I gave you the number, 702-546-8107. That's Google Voice. You can't call it. I won't answer it. It doesn't ring. But you can text me, and somebody showed me a guy from the UK who came here, and on camera was stealing the buffet at the MGM Grand and stealing monorail rides. Now, I'm not into doing stuff that's dumb. I'm into doing stuff that's risky. Where are you, Steve? Just logged in. We're at Fountain Blue right now. So, P.T. Barnum might have been a drunk. So what? You got a problem with it? <laughs> but he was highly successful. He was a highly successful drunk, I guess. So we have some cool architecture out here. So yeah, if you guys want to see extra um, streams or extra pre-recorded 4K 60 frames per second, we'll be coming into, it's going to be either here or Resorts World. I'm going to do it after the stream. I have a camera with me for that. It's small enough that I don't think anybody will say anything. We're going to go up this escalator that goes almost to nowhere. Like, I don't know where all these escalators are going. Stephen, be careful not to take a wrong turn and end up in this soil production line. We don't need soil like green. Everybody's going to be eating crickets, yo. You know that. Look at that. It's a giant egg. It's an egg. I am just going to say it. That is one of the largest pieces of artwork I've ever seen. Let's just, let's get active. Um, here. Yeah. That is one big painting, isn't it? That is one big painting. Let's go back. Nobody wants to see my face. You got a face made for radio, kid. Gotcha. So let's go upstairs. I don't know what's upstairs. It says it's LIV in the conference center. Again, with the things and the escalators. These are big escalators, dude. Hey, can you guys do me a favor and share this right now? There's 950 people watching, so it should be easy for y'all to share it. And uh, make sure you subscribe, because on Sundays, on mornings on Sundays, we go out to areas that you've never seen. And uh, be sure you hit up the Patreon if you guys have 16 cents a day to spare, because we're going to be doing uh, content on Patreon that you don't get on the YouTube channel. And... Uh, this is one big escalator. How do I get that over there? It is. Oh man. oh man. Wow, I can see it now. Look over here. They have like five levels of convention space. So, what is this property really? This ain't no hotel casino. This is a hotel convention center. They're banking on the convention business. Um, did I consider wearing a suit and bow tie? This is a big escalator. I just want to say it again. Look, that's the vanishing point of the escalator down here. Wow. I should have timed the escalator ride. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh, can you guys help me identify a theme song? I want you guys to, can you help me? I got some old, some older folks like me here. You remember it. Cable Jones, Stephen, I always love to watch your streams. Thank you, Cable Jones. Thank you, Cable Jones. I really appreciate you. So I'm gonna hum a few bars from a theme song. And if you guys want to help me identify it, because it was on, they're playing it at the Golden Knights game. And I can't, I couldn't find it online. And so can somebody help me? It goes, da, 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 da. That's the song, da, 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 da. And then there's a part of the video that goes, da, 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 click, click, da, 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 click, click. Da 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 click click da 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 so there I'm not gonna do it again because you guys will be annoyed as heck 
But if you can tell me what that theme song is, it that's not Anthem, is it? No, that's not Meg Al Bundy song. That was a Frank Sinatra. Look at how big that sign is. Night Court. Was that Night Court? Yes. Thank you. I knew the Battlestar Galactica fan would nail it for me. Another one of these giant escalators. Oh my gosh! I get to tell. I figured out the theme song. All right, let's time this one, okay? We got, what time is it? 10.43, wait a minute, what are the, 10 minutes and 43 seconds. Thank you, Night Court. Man, they're remaking Night Court, why? Let Bull and Harry rest in peace and also the bailiff. Gosh, it was on the, the Knights game last night. The Knights were playing the Kraken and I could not for the life of me put it in my head. Mmm, will there be snacks? I don't have any snacks. I have a bottle of water that I got for free at Resorts Hall because I filled it up. So look at how long this escalator is. These escalators are something special. So we're up here for, this is a 30, 40 second escalator ride to get to the top here. And I have to tell you, there's nothing up here. We got to a whole lot of nothingness, but we do have some water refills. Why are you on an escalator? Because we're, we're exploring the, uh, we're exploring the fountain blue. Oh my God. You know when you're in the wrong place? Oh, this is so weird. It just goes forever. This place just goes forever. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is so strange. <laughs> this is so weird, there's nobody here. There's nobody up here. It's a, this is their convention area. Mm. This seems like it's overkill. I'm just gonna say it. Mm. Watch these don't work. I'm drinking all my water. <laughs> so the bottles, 207, hardly any, 159. These count for every half liter that they pour out, every 500 mils, 232. I think security will come for me at this point, 368. Let's donate to this one. Boom, 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 369. There you go. Just came in, fountain blue, yes. Hmm. This is so weird. This is the most serene experience. So I lose on my whole audience because I'm not showing you slot machines. It, it's weird up here. Look, down here there's two more, two more water machines down here. Like, how many water machines do you need? I guess I know why. Because when you're doing conventions, it's typical for them to have water bottles put out, but they have to constantly change the water bottles out. So if they put the water dispensers at the front, this is kind of cool. This is weird up here now. It's kind of neat. Why is there so much space between the sitting areas? I don't know. That was something that kind of switched over in the COVID era. And you remember they took all the chairs away because six feet to stop the spread. Yeah, right. You know, germs don't travel six feet because we're just actually taking things out of our ass. But yeah, so I think that might be the reason why. I got to get my stuff in my bag situated here. So we're up at the weird, deserted top part of uh, resort of um, Fountain Blue. It's got to be a money laundering. <laughs> no. I think what it is is they don't really understand the Vegas market as much as they might. And I think that's probably what you're seeing. You're seeing people who came into town and they need to get their footing. <sighs> so, yeah. Look at this. There's more elevators. So now I thought, okay, okay I figured it out. So the, the back thing, I really thought the whole back way was actually... Okay, I, I can't talk right now. I mean, I can talk right now. There's another, another giant es escalator for all these rooms that are not used. Shelly Duval, about it. It's so big, that's what she said. We're not gonna go up anymore. This is getting excessive. But um, I think what I thought was a parking garage is not a parking garage. It is just hundreds and hundreds of thousands of square feet of exhibition space. This goes all the way down. I mean, this has got to be, I mean, this is like a, a, a good half mile long 
for this all the way down here. <sighs> so, and what's weird about this is I don't know that this is a good play for them. And the reason I'm going to say that is because there's not a lot of conventions coming into Vegas right now. We still have not reached pre-COVID era convention. This is weird and creepy and unsettling to look at. Uh-oh, somebody's coming. So this is pretty cool. But there's somebody here who doesn't really care about me. Good. Okay, well he doesn't work for the hotel. He works for United Service Companies, whatever that is. All the escalators work, so I'm blue in Miami Beach is awesome. I just don't think they understood the casino industry. <sighs> Man. Mmm. No, that guy doesn't work for the hotel. He don't care who I am. For all he knows, I work for the hotel. <laughs> He's wearing a service company's thing they're probably setting up. I don't know if any of these are able to be booked right now. I'm sure some of them are able to be booked. Um, they really banked hard, hard on the convention business, but the convention business, as I just mentioned, hasn't come back to pre-COVID era levels. And so will it ever come back? I don't know. I mean, some things have to be person to person, but do all of them have to be person to person? The answer is no. And one time P says, I think it's cool. I think it's a cool place too. But I'm not like, I'm not saying it's gonna fail. I'm just saying that it's a weird vibe. I'm just saying that so far it's failed. There's like six levels of convention space here. And it just gets more and more dizzying to think about how much it costs to heat and cool these rooms and what the future could be for this place. Oh. Yeah, you could do mall walks all day long. I mean, I'm sure there's a fire, uh, well, there has to be stairs. So you could just walk the six flights of stairs up and down all day long. It's kind of weird, dude. Lucky Dragon Casino, try to cater to a certain group. Failed within two years. Yes, uh, let's talk about Lucky Dragon a little bit. It's not far from here. You got this girl looking like she's going to a pool party. Well, she in the wrong spot. There ain't nothing up here. And she's coming out of the pool deck oasis. So there's that. So, our, there's nothing up there. She's going up there, though. She's like, I don't think there's nothing up there. She lost. That girl's lost as I was. <laughs> so, Lucky Dragon tried to take business away from uh, well-established, like super-duper established, right? She tried to take, so this is the pool deck. Maybe this is open. I, I don't even know. They try to take business away. Not open. Not open. Nope. Nope. Yet. Nine. So they try to take... Lucky Dragon was a hotel that's now called the Ahern Hotel. It's a convention property. They do conventions and, and, and gatherings. But they try to take their money away from... Uh, from the Venetian and Palazzo and Wynn and Encore and Bellagio because that's where most of the Asian gamers were going. And so, you know, that didn't work as well as they thought it would and they closed, yeah, really fast. Um, yeah, so again, there's nobody in this part of the casino. It's completely dead, but I gotta appreciate the giant artwork. <laughs> just, Guys, 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 try to be nice to the nice girl. I think she was just a pool person who was going out of the pool, although the pool is closed, so now I don't know. Steven is in the convention area, no conventions at 743. There's no conventions at 743. Las Vegas life is correct. But we can just marvel at the grandiosity of this place, right? Like, way to do that. Like, this place is huge. It's humongous. There's people there in that little area. Maybe they're just... I don't know, there's like six levels of convention space here, dude. Yeah, you all come. You all want more of the pretty girl, huh? I'm telling you, dude, if I was a 27-year-old girl, I'd have 10 million followers. Be like, hi, guys. We're doing a makeup tutorial. Hi. Oh, you want me to leave? I'll just leave. No, you want ID? No, I'm not going to give you my ID. I'm going to leave. 
I'm gonna walk out this door. Okay, and then don't I'm, come back. Okay, thank you, sir. Don't come back. So we're being 86th from the Fountain Blue because he demanded to see my ID. So there you have it, kids. Just uh, 86th out of the Fountain Blue without being 86th out of the Fountain Blue because he asked for my ID. That guy was a jerk. He was aggressive, very aggro, but he's just doing his job. So that's how you title the stream. Ah, oh, man. So we got the sphere behind us. <laughs> of course they were watching. We got the sphere behind us right here. So that guy stood right in my way. Like he wanted to stop me from streaming. That was something else. So just to be on the safe side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna not get hit by this car. Holy crap, that car's going fast. Oh my gosh. Whew. And uh, we're gonna walk on this side of the street, which is the convention center side. Uh. So, that dude was pissed off at me. Whoa, if you're just tuning in, man, you missed it. They kicked me out of the fountain blue. He really wanted my ID. <laughs> came down those escalators. He was like some kind of football tackle. Zoop. Excuse me, sir. I need your ID. No, I'm not going to give you my ID. I'm going to go out those doors right now. No, sir. I need your ID. Well, I'm not going to give it to you, and I'm going to leave. Well, you don't come back. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Whatever. <laughs> and he was like going to, he was going to like, She's gonna physically touch me. <laughs> Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas. Subscribe to the channel. Guys, you won't know what's going on. I should do the whole thing in my radio voice. Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, the Found Blue Hotel. Number one hotel for turning away free publicity. I don't know if they're watching my stream. If you're watching my stream, Found Blue, you're done with me buddy i i was good i listen i have some thoughts on fountain blue i'm going to tear into fountain blue subscribe to the channel for that not because of that but because i think they're doing everything wrong like so wrong like if you can if you can write a book on how not to launch a casino property it's it's this place fountain anyways thank you so much was that carbine one again heating us up thank you carbine one you're a rock star what about the girl? Oh man, he ain't gonna stop that girl. He's gonna, well, he'd be like, excuse me, ma'am. I need to see your phone so I can put my phone number into it. He's not gonna be nice. He's not gonna be mean to the pretty girl, just to the ugly blogger. That's a great way to. <laughs> oh man, what a trip, man. What a trip. They didn't want you to see their empty casino carbine set. Maybe not. What does 66064 Fountain Blue mean? Uh, meanwhile, on the 10th floor, the girl is taking off her pumps. Is Casino Royale going away? Yeah, that's a good question. There was this, um, the Casino Royale, which is further down the strip from us, they got permission to build something at Casino Royale, but uh, I don't know that they'll ever build it. You can't fill the empty void. That's okay. We'll make a video about how we got kicked out of the Fountain Blue, and uh, thankfully, my streams don't chop and they all look good in 1080p. So we'll be able to clip that part out and we'll just explain my real true uncandid thoughts on Fountain Blue. Don't visit. Kick me out. I actually recorded. Sometimes what I do for my videos is I record my videos as a random stream of consciousness and see what I can remember. And I even said in that video, don't visit Fountain Blue. It makes no sense for you to visit Fountain Blue right now. You can go as far as Resorts World and have a blast. They have so many good things going on it and it's not a tomb inside. But Fountain Blue doesn't know what it's catering to and they sure as heck don't want you at Fountain Blue. They just want somebody to buy the most expensive jewelry in the world and eat a $150 Peking duck. Anyways, this place here just prints money as somebody said, Mike Lee. Mike Lee is correct. Join us on Sundays. Uh, we're gonna have Sundays with Steven. We're gonna go over some news items at the beginning of the stream. We can do slides, like, I don't know if you know this, but 
Like I can put like things in there like, oh, look at this, this happened. And then I can be like, look at this, this is another thing that happened. These are just some random photos exactly. I took. I can be like, hey, look how expensive the parking was. So we're gonna do something like that with some news items uh, for you guys on Sundays. And then we're gonna take you to a place that you've never seen before. I don't know where that's gonna be right now. But it looks like they're doing something over here with the convention center. Mm-hmm. Fountain Blue has $75 nachos at the sports book at $3,000 watch parties. That is true too. So I don't know where to go from this point on. But you know, hey. You still wanna see the giant egg? Well, you know, probably won't be back into Fountain Blue tonight dressed like how I'm looking. So if you're gonna join Patreon, we're gonna go and flip over to Resorts World later on. And uh, patreon.com forward slash not leaving Las Vegas. And if you guys do that, that's very helpful. That helps us out every month. And we're gonna be filming some extra content and stuff. It's that guard demanding to see my ID. Does he not know how to do it? There's ways to do it, but I'm a sales guy. So I know when it's no sale and I wanna leave. You know, the good thing is, for Fountain Blue, if you're watching, I'm gonna tell you the real way to handle that. See, I was up on the fifth floor of your convention center. That's when you want to approach me. Not when I'm 20 feet away from the door that goes out to the drive that goes down to Westgate. You want to approach me when I'm in a, an area where I can't easily get out of the property. And then you can most definitely have your way with me. What is this audible compromise, comprise? Audible, are you giving away free Audible coupon codes? I love Audible. So we're out here on the strip. That is energy. Man, man, man. It smells like that skunk we get out here now. Gross. So there we go. Man, I work security. All you're supposed to do is observe and report. That man has no right to question you for your identity. Oh, no, 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 no. In Vegas, that's... In Vegas, the, the reason he wants to see my ID is because then he can know my name and my driver's license number. And then what he's going to do, he's going to pull a little card out of his pocket and he's going to say, Sir, under NRS, that stands for the Nevada Revised Statutes, Sir, under the NRS, blah, 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 I don't know the exact one. Uh, you are hereby trespassed from the Fountain Blue property and all of its affiliates properties worldwide. Let me plug my phone number, plug my, um, plug my mic in. Good. So, and he's going to say, sir, you are therefore trespassed. You must leave the property immediately. And if you do come back, sir... Uh, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department will be called and you will be uh, uh, charged with criminal trespassing. So that's why he wants to see my ID. He can't do any of that stuff. If I just say, I'm not showing you Jack and I'm going to walk out the door, which is why he needed to approach me on the fifth floor. So just a, just a word up to the, the fountain blue. I'm not telling you how to be security guards, but I'm telling you, you want to trap me in a corner, not when I'm 20 feet from the door. He told me not to come back, but he didn't tell, he told me not to come back. Okay. And he doesn't know who I am. Maybe they know me because of my live stream, but I've not been officially trespassed from the property. I can't go to Miami now. I know, right? And there's only one hotel in Miami that I'd ever want to go to. Most casinos are allowed and in many cases required to check ID. This is true. So can I go back in? Sure, someday. It's not today. Dude, they got nothing going on right now, so they're paying attention. When it's busy, they're not gonna know that I'm even there. So yeah, would I go back to Fountain Blue? <laughs> Heck yeah. Would I go in and they would say, hey, you're that guy with the camera. I'd say, no, I'm not. they say, yes, you are. i said, no, I'm not. What are you talking about? Sir, can I see your ID? And in that case, I'd show my ID. I'd say, yeah, I'm Stephen Campbell. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> see, see how it goes? Check out the Panay Band. There's a Panoy Band at Westgate. Let's go over to Westgate. Let's walk down this dangerous street and go to the convention center. So we're, we're now at a place that's busier than the Fountain Blue. What's up, Stephs? It's Carbine One, come enjoy your $160 duck and 200,000 square feet of lonely emptiness. Carbine One, what's up guys, how you doing? 
my birthday. Happy birthday, man. How old are you, boss? 34. 34? Dude, congrats coming to Vegas, 34. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, excuse me. So we're gonna walk down here and go down Convention Center Drive. It's a little weird down here. So yeah, we'll make a video on Cosmo. And you know, it's funny because I was at the Wynn and I found the footage. I was at the Wynn Hotel and they told me I could film in the promenade, the shopping area. And then the guy demanded to see my ID and ran it. I have that footage too, but I haven't shown you that yet. I wish I was 34 again too. <laughs> now you don't lie to security guards, Jimmy, and tell them you're part of the Nevada Gaming Commission. That's a bad idea. But you know, hey, there's a Denny's down here, so if you're staying at the $344 a night room place, you can go to Denny's America's Diner and get your food. This song makes me think of summer. I don't know that song. I know some hip hop, but not a lot of hip hop. Oh man. I was listening to Kanye West, 808s and Heartbreak before I came in here. Yeah, I like that album a whole lot. Oh, it smells really good because of the Mexican taco place over here. Son of a gun. Grand Slam, moon over my hammy. My moon over my hammy has a hair in it. <laughs> well, sir, you didn't pay for the no hair moon over my hammy. Denny's has $4 duck. <laughs> What's up, Samuel Fish? Thanks for coming. Denny's Solomon Diner is not that bad. If you're a hot chick reviewing vegan tacos, they let you stay. This is true, but that's okay. They don't want to approach and hurt the feelings of the pretty girls. Love your videos on the wind properties yesterday. Oh, thank you so much, Steph. Um, yeah, so what do we got going on here? Live your dream exotics at $5.99. You can rent an exotic car for $600 a day out here. We're gonna walk down to Westgate. We're gonna go past the Bagel World. Indoor skydiving. This is a really weird, area the royal resort over here is closed this is a this was a timeshare resort back here and there was this ta i wish i could find a copy of it but uh, like a photo there was this amazing sculpture inside the lobby of this place if you say i didn't bring id it's different than i'm leaving am i not going to give you my id i don't know if that's maybe i should have said that could have been that but anyways the yeah the royal resort was a timeshare there used to be a place called the Barrymore out here that my wife and I ate at once. And we were kind of down on our luck, but we wanted to treat ourselves. And uh, Silver City Plaza, you can see how far from the Fountain Blue we are right now. We got some more lights lit up, that's good. So this Silver City Plaza sign, this belongs in the Neon Museum downtown because Silver City Plaza is a holdover from the 60s, 70s and 80s. Thanks, Tony. Be sure to subscribe, guys. Yeah, this is closed for good. This has been, they have chain link fence in front of that. This has been closed for a number of years. They closed it even before COVID-19. Um, so, no more. We went to a comic convention, like a really small comic convention here once. And this is just a, uh, this is just an office building. This is 101 Convention Center Drive. So if you ever register a business in the state of Nevada, for tax purposes, there's a good chance that your business address might be 101 Convention Center Drive. So Silver City Plaza. Cool experience here, indoor skydiving. I talked to the family that owns this. Tried to sell them, tried to sell them some marketing and advertising, but they weren't into it. But that's okay. Nice people. There we go. Now look. So I was telling you guys about these before. These are the um, the boxes. These boxes are full because they're by the convention center. We're going down there right now. So, I don't even know what this is. Vegas International, see the world in a new light. So these boxes are actually meticulously policed by the county. There's probably stuff in here I can't show you. Where will you go next? Couple, coupons, travel guides, strip advertising. Oh, this isn't, oh yeah, yeah. This is all about, this is about adult stuff. Dix is not down there anymore. I wonder how old this guide is. This place actually closed. And so this is, oh, drunk gimbal, son of a gun. Stop it, drunk gimbal, don't, don't get drunk. Yeah, this is adult stuff. So these boxes are actually meticulously um, policed by the county. So they, they, they face harsh, harsh fines if these things are uh, spray painted. And that's not even, 
like these have to be clean all the time and that's nothing that they can really control so these boxes advertise the strip clubs the gentlemen's clubs and then even stuff that's outside of vegas there's a catholic church over here and the catholic church is doing mass right now i can hear the bell dinging did you know that silver city casino was a non-smoking in the mid 90s no i didn't know that that's very smart so if you guys want to support the channel and fund us some tacos after the stream, nobody's done it yet, but you guys might, not leavinglasvegas.com forward slash donate. You can use the PayPal option. But thank you guys for the super chat so far and for subscribing to the channel. This is our one taco night for me and the wifey. So if you want to do that, that's cool. If not, I'm still here with you. I still love you. And I'm so, so happy you are watching Extended Stay Business Class Hotel. These places used to be a lot more run down and they're actually a lot nicer now. This whole area has seen an uptick in niceness, uh, partially due to the convention center expansion. The Latter-day Saints population is huge in Vegas. That's true. Used to be escorts to room flyers. Nye County brothel papers in the 90s. Jimmy, I know a little bit about that. Um, believe it or not, in the 1937 in Vegas, they outlawed all that stuff. Uh, in 1937, prior to 1937, Vegas had a red light district downtown. It wasn't sanctioned or legal, but it wasn't illegal either. And then in 1937, the city passed a law about the red light district, and then they moved it four miles away from city center, and the red light district in Vegas was called Four Mile, F-O-R-M-Y-L-E. It's still a community in Vegas. You can go and visit it, but you won't see any, any brothels or anything like that. But then they passed a law in 1971 near Reno, and that law near Reno gave business licenses to the brothels to operate. So this caused people in Vegas to get nervous. The city council got nervous. They said, we don't want people petitioning to have a business license for brothels in Vegas. So in 1977 or somewhere, whereabouts that, they passed a law that said any county with over 700,000 residents wasn't allowed to have any kind of that activity happen whatsoever. So thereby, Vegas and Reno are now the only two counties where you can't have that kind of activity happening. This is the new convention center. <coughs> so I'm doing a video, I'm researching a video on that kind of stuff. So we got the convention center out here. Fremont had a strip club once, yes. It was called the Girls of Glitter Gulch and Glitter Gulch is what they used to call downtown Fremont Street. What is the area that used to be Block 16? That's downtown. I don't know exactly what street it is, although I should research and find out. Block 16 was one of the original tracks of land in Vegas. <laughs> We're still talking. Sammy the Bunny's still talking about getting 86 from Fountain Blue a few minutes ago. Could he have tased you? He's not carrying a taser. He may be carrying a gun, but he's not going to shoot me. That would be bad for business. But, um... So downtown Las Vegas, they initially had block one, block two, block three. And the blocks were kind of like they were themed. So block one might be banking, block two might be agriculture, block three might be saloons. Block 16, there was saloons and it was saloons and brothels and gambling and crazy lawlessness. And when I say lawlessness, I mean lawlessness. There was no official sheriff back in the days in Vegas. There was a guy named Bill, I think. And Bill was known for his uh, big stature. We got the sphere down here. You can see where we are at. The strip is behind us. And they would come down occasionally and shake down um, the people. But Block 16 ceased being that in 1930s, 1940s. And the reason for that <clears throat> is because the U.S. Army was establishing the Nevada test site not far from here. And the Nevada test site was where they were testing the atomic weapons that went on to end World War II. So the US Army leaned on the city to close all of those houses of ill repute and say, well, we don't want those operating because we don't want our people that are in Vegas losing money and getting into trouble and possibly getting into fist fights because it was utter sheer bedlam. And uh, yeah, that's why one by one, all those establishments closed. It was really at the behest of the US Army who was running their tests in the desert. Rocky Villa, I was listening to Bill O'Reilly yesterday doing an interview with Tucker Carlson. And at this point, a large portion of you are going to hate me. 
sorry guys, I gotta be me, but Bill O'Reilly said before he was a broadcast journalist, and I mean, the man was one of the most famous journalists ever, even if you hate conservatism, it is fine. You gotta give him credit for being good at what he does. And he said before that he was a history teacher, and so he had to tell stories. What the heck is that? Oh, it's just a motorcycle. He had to tell stories in order to engage his, uh, his, uh, his students. Uh, otherwise, they would just tap out and not pay attention. So I think telling stories is important. Does Chumley still have his candy shop? He'll take you to the candy shop. Yeah, he does. We went past it last Sunday. We were on our Sunday mornings with Steven Stream. And uh, you guys can check out that if you want to go back. We went to downtown Skid Row, Vegas. Whoa, I got $10 from James Jefferson. $10. Thank you, James. He used our super secret ninja link. Not leaving Las Vegas.com forward slash donate. He used the PayPal option and uh, he sent a one time donation. You don't need a PayPal account. You can just send them off one with your debit or your credit card. So nice of you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And all my cash apps lately have been going straight into Bitcoin. So we can do that. Thank you, Steve, for posting this up. Piero's, this is a very famous restaurant out here. This is an old mob establishment back in the 40s and 50s. We're walking down to the convention center. We're gonna go down to Westgate where I heard there's a Pinoy band. That's like Filipino Pinoy. My wife is from the Philippines. I texted her, said I'm going on live. She was trying to watch hockey. There's no hockey games on tonight. Chumley let me play a 15 minute music set on one of his Instagram lives. Whoa! Time Walker, I hope you're famous now. That's awesome. Chumley seems like a good guy, if not a guy with a bit of a checkered past, but don't we all have a checkered past? Every one of us has something in our past. Yeah, so Piero is this famous mob run establishment back in the day. I'm sure it's not now. They got Asco Busco, they got steaks and chops and fresh fish. We got Florida stone crab over here. You don't gotta go to Joe's at Caesars, you can come to Piero's. What's wrong with you? Hey. Yeah, why is the why? Yes, but there's no, there's no games on TV. We have YouTube TV, there's no games on YouTube TV, there's no games on ESPN Plus. And I don't even know what, how else to watch hockey games. Carbine won. I'm another non-revised history fan. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, non-revised history. Yes, we went down to Florida and we drove from Nashville down through Alabama because I wanted to see the history, you know? But I said, I gotta find me a history book from like 1978 or something. And my, 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 my boss was like, why? And I said, because I don't know. I mean, right now, both sides write the history to suit them and I wanna read history from 30, 40 years ago because I think that'll be more true to what really happened. Because, you know, we got the monorail. Check this out. ESPN Plus, yeah, we pay for ESPN Plus. <laughs> Topher Beck has a chess pass, not a checkered pass. I got a TikTok toe pass. What are you talking about? This area is not really good uh, right now, but it's pretty dead. We're gonna go to the Westgate. They have the largest sports book on the planet Earth, they say. I don't, maybe Stadium Circus, uh, maybe the Stadium Sports Book, whatever it's called. Oh my gosh, $3.33 from Anthony Mandela. I got the Mandela effect in full force. Thank you, Anthony. Anthony used our super secret ninja link. Now leaving Las Vegas.com forward slash donate. Thank you. Appreciate you, Anthony. It could be the biggest. I don't know. I'm not sure, but Westgate still has signs up that says the largest race and sports book in the world. I wanted to show you guys the racing sports book over at the Fountain Blue, but the powers that be didn't want that to happen. I don't know. Ericism. I never heard of ericism. <clears throat> so this is, of course, the old, his, this is the old Hilton International, but before that, okay, so here's, let's go back in time. We're going to go back in time. So Westgate was the W. No, not the W. It was the Vegas Hotel. Before that, it was the Hilton International. 
No, before that it was the Hilton Las Vegas, and before that it was the Hilton International Las Vegas, and before that it was the International Las Vegas. This place was opened to compete against properties on the Strip like Caesars Palace. And it was Kirk Kirkorian who helped build this. Kirk had a company that made machine tools and he sold it. And he bought an airline, I believe. I think he bought an airline. Kirk himself was a World War II pilot and he just had busy business savviness. So he parlayed his fortune that he had made into buying this piece of land right here. And it was across the street from a hotel that's not here anymore called the Landmark Hotel, which if you ever saw the movie Mars Attacks, they ripped down the tower, the observation tower for that movie. Now when Kirk built this, he built it because of the convention center, which is that building there, which was a lot smaller back then, but they still had big deals like the Beatles played there. It was the only Vegas stop they ever made for a show here. And so he knew that if he built a big hotel, it didn't need to be on the strip because he would capture all the business traffic. Now Elvis played here when they said the King was had no career anymore, but it's a fallacy to think that Elvis was the show that really made this, that opened up the showroom. Right now, Barry Manilow plays at the showroom. It was actually Barbara Streisand. She played the first show at the Westgate. I like the Westgate a whole lot, and we're gonna go and take a look at it right now. You can tour the room he stayed in. Jake, you should go watch my channel, brother. Type in Not Leaving Las Vegas, Elvis Presley, and you will find a guided tour of the theater where Elvis played, the path he would take to go out to the stage, backstage access. We had a tour by our amazing gentleman, uh, Gordon Prouty, who's still with Westgate. Super nice guy, snazziest dresser in all of Las Vegas. I will tell you that right now. And uh, we went to the room, we went to the suite. We were actually locked out of the suite. It was like Elvis's ghost was there. The Killers are from Vegas. Imagine Dragons is from Vegas. Nick, uh, Nicholas, uh, <coughs> Nick Cage lives in Vegas, obviously. Um, Mark Wahlberg lives in Vegas right now. Um, who else lives here? Flavor Flav lives in Vegas. Yeah, boy, Flavor Flav. Jimmy Kimmel is not from Vegas. Jimmy Kimmel is a dirty liar. Do you guys want to hear how Jimmy Kimmel is a dirty liar and he ta cashes in on the Vegas thing? Hey, Kenneth, I love you. I hope you don't mind. I'm not trying to say anything against you. Jimmy Kimmel came to Vegas and he went to Clark High School for about a year. Then he went to UNLV for about three or six months. Then he transferred out and went to Arizona and he never came back. But he loves to say he's from Vegas. He loves to say he's from Vegas, but he's not. He spent about a year and three months here. Uh, Floyd Mayweather lives in Vegas, of course. A lot of fighters, Mike Tyson has a place out here. Yep, absolutely he does. Penn and Teller's out here, yeah. Mike Tyson, Iron Mike, gonna beat the heck out of one of the Paul brothers coming up this June, can't wait for it. Jimmy Kimmel is not from Vegas, but they all like to say they're from Vegas because it gives them credibility and Vegas is a place where you can tack your name onto it and people go, ooh, you're from Vegas. You stayed here a year and three months, get the heck out. Anyways, Mike Tyson. I love Las Vegas, it's my favorite place. <laughs> Because of the Hangover, Hangover movie gave me a, a career when I had no career. I want to interview Mike Tyson, but I'm afraid that he might have seen that I do a bad Mike Tyson impression. He's going to be like, Stephen Campbell, I, I, I got to tell you, I love your channel, but I hate your impression of me, so I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Carbine One, this is for your Jimmy Kimmel history. Oh, cool. Thank you. Carbine One has heated it up. He's worth like, yeah, 40 or 50 bucks into me, bro. Whoa. Thank you so much. My connection is getting really bad. I'm gonna tell you kids. Okay, it got better. How's wind doing now? Is he surviving? <laughs> I just did it like Kanye West. How ye doing? Y'all surviving? I was drinking earlier, now I'm driving. Anyways, how's wind doing now? He's surviving? He's okay, I guess, I don't know. He's a billionaire. I, I don't know that he's ever going to do poorly, but all the money in the world can't buy you happiness. Mike needs to retire. All this reports come out in CTE damage. And what does he do? He decides to box. Well, I mean, yeah. Rio is getting remodeled. It is. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, Mike Tyson. I love Mike. 
I'd love to interview a big celebrity for my channel. I just start emailing their people. Somebody's bound to say yes, you know? <laughs> I remember when I fought Evander Holyfield. I, I told him, I said, I said, Evander, if you keep punching And he kept punching me in the back of my head. <laughs> so, I, so I bit him. And I said, I'm, I, I don't want to do this. I'm going to go buy some birds and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in the hangover. Mike Tyson has a cannabis, uh, cannabis company, actually. So no wonder he's here. I don't know that he grows this cannabis crop here. Maybe California. I don't know. But anyways. Yeah, so Barry Manilow at the Copa, Copa Cabana. I'm losing my signal as I'm walking. Anyway, the Westgate, they have convention facilities too, see? They have their convention stuff over here. But you don't see a lot of conventions here, but they do them, uh, just not right now. It's, you know, it's like eight o'clock on a Friday. I know the young Gen Z people stopped going to the Palms after the Cosmo opened. Mm, yes, kind of, sort of. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, I'd say you're mostly right. But the Palms was, the Palms leveraged connections that the Maloof brothers, so there's a resort called the Palms, okay? The Palms Resort is a few miles off the Strip. It's over on Flamingo, across the street from the Rio. And the Maloof brothers leveraged entertainment industry contacts to get TV shows to come in there. Uh, back in the 90s, the real world Las Vegas went, was doing other, you know, real world New York, real world LA. The Planet Hollywood original owner, Robert Earl, he tried to steal the thunder away from uh, Planet Hollywood, but he didn't know how to market that. He had no clue what he was doing, and Planet Hollywood failed, and it went lost tons of money and got bought by Caesars Entertainment, who then made it a better property, in my opinion. But I think the Palms could resurge, could resurge again. It's, it's primed itself as a local hotel, mostly. That's the crazy part. So look for the king. The king is right out here. I'll show you. We'll show you the statue. Try to, oh, this is not the entrance. Oh, this is the entrance. Oh, wow, they got a nice seating area. Huh. So we're at the Westgate now. We got finished getting ourselves kicked out of the Fountain Blue. That was fun. Quite a trip. I love the roses up here. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Westgate's a timeshare. There's no Filipino band playing, it's just March Madness. But that's okay too. Are these real flowers, like the Fountain Blue? They certainly are not. Oh, well, that's okay though. So the Jimmy went to the island. This is the king here. Oh, snap. Oh no, he's still there. I thought they moved him for a minute. So we've done stuff in here before. Yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and uh, subscribe to our Patreon, it's at 16 cents a day for a starter level. Everybody gets the same content. Oh man, Michio Kaku is performing. Most of you don't know who Michio Kaku is. He's a famous scientist. That looks just like him. <laughs> That's the dirtiest joke I'll tell. I promise it doesn't, it gets better from here on in. Um, so I'm gonna be filming in some of these properties. I'm gonna have to film something tonight. Elvis, there's the Elvis statue. Elvis, the King of Las Vegas, an eight year exclusive run in the Las Vegas Hilton showroom. There's a, some debate over this. Some people say it was more consecutive shows performed to 2.5 million people, enough to fill the Rose Bowl 25 times over. Las Vegas is all time favorite and successful reporter. And this is the, uh, the King statue. Now, Westgate's a timeshare company, <coughs> but I'll tell you, when, uh, when they took this place over, one of the things that the timeshare owner David Siegel did was he had his people bring this in. This was outside, surviving the elements. It's a brass statue, you can't put it outside. Uh, for long, it won't do well. And so it had bird crap all over it and it was just garbage. And so he actually brought it inside and fixed it up. And now we have people that come down here on his birthday and uh, they put different stuff up here. We're not gonna touch anything. We're gonna respect all that stuff. So very cool, you know, and um, I love it. And we got some Vegas stuff here, Elvis with James Burton. July 31st, 1969, four weeks only. His first appearance in eight years, they told the king he was washed up. He wasn't washed up. He filled that room for years to come. And of course we got Anne Margaret 
and then Barbara Streisand was the first show out here, but most people think it was Elvis. And then we have Manilo, which is, this is an ironic thing. Manilo performed here, Ma try not to film this guy. Manilo performed here a long time ago. There he is as a young man, and now he's back. And if for all the Star Trek fans, this is the old um, Star Trek experience. This is now a Westgate timeshare tour center. Why the clothespins? I don't know the significance of the clothespins, if I'm being totally honest. This, uh, this gift shop is themed like Star Trek. Uh, like the, uh, yes. Let me say something real quick. Sure. Anyway, you guys follow this guy. I love you guys, man. Shouts out to Swanson. Uh, Swanson on YouTube. Swanson on YouTube. Very cool. Thank you, Swanson. Uh, I got 70, 72,000 subs, but right now it's, it was a thousand earlier. It's only 625 right now. Oh, so there you go. Man. You got a channel? What's your channel about? Swanson, the boy Swanson. All right, guys. Go check out Swanson. I'm Joby. All right, guys. All right. There you go. I don't know. That could be a million guys. That got might out of a million subscribers. I have no idea. So Westgate, this is the one that looks like, again, this looks like the, the deck of the Starship Enterprise. Very cool. So yeah, you can see the theming, and now it's a gift shop. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. But you'd never think it, that this used to be part of the Star Trek experience. Fun stuff, man. I love the West Gate. This is a cool little place, man. I gotta tell you. And there's a ton of people here. Contrast of that to Fountain Blue. Fountain Blue's right on the strip. This place is nowhere near the strip. You gotta walk. I cleared 1100 earlier. I know, right? It's crazy. The more I do content, the more I get repaid. And thank you guys for, for showing me that the hard work can pay off. If I, I mean, I took my time and I had to some time off and, and I'm just so grateful. You have no idea. So Retail Row, they got some stuff down here. They have Benihana down here if you want to get your Benihana on. Shatner is 93. Good on Shatner, William Shatner. He went to space, he went in, He went up in space a few years ago. I think he was 88 years old at the time. Wow, the chairman from New Vegas. Uh, the chairman from New Vegas? I know from New Vegas, uh, there's a game called Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas is a great game. I, I do want to replay it, but I don't have a lot of time to play games right now. It was a role-playing game and uh, I know that Mr. Wonderful, I think his name was, the radio announcer. That was actually Wayne Newton. He had uh, he did all the voice dialogue there. I don't know if the chairman was it a famous voice actor. Barev, how you doing, A.E.? Does anyone like the Can't Help Falling in Love cover by Kina? I've not heard it. Well, that's a beautiful song. Hopefully they did it justice. Westgate's a nice place. There's a ton of people. You see these little folks here? They do a lot of gymnastics and pool playing here. What is the most simple way? Swanson. I'll remember Swanson, bro. You got it. <laughs> what's the simplest way to donate to the channel? Uh, not, what's that? Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, oh somebody asked me about donations, that's all. What's the channel called? It's called Not Leaving Las Vegas. Not Leaving Las Vegas? Yes, Not Leaving Las Vegas. Go look it up, you'll find yourself right now. On if you, it's on YouTube. YouTube. Us old guys go on YouTube, you, you young guys go on Twitch. Yeah, 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 well, I mean, all my homies there you go. Twitch, you know what I mean? So just type in not leaving Las Vegas. It'll be the first We're one from on Louisiana, Pop bro. Oh, who dat? Uh, you know what I mean? You there you go. Who there you go. Beat them Saints? I hope so. You got the Super Bowl next year. Wait, what? Not leaving Maybe Las they won't Vegas. rob you this time like they did back in the day. Man, they are trash. It's, it's the, it's the, uh. It's okay, man. We got to deal with the Raiders out here, man. We sat all there every year. Oh my gosh. Here you are right here. So that's the one. Yeah, tap on that one. You'll see yourself. There oh you are. Oh my gosh. There you are. Yes. There you go. Show your buddies, man. Shouts out to you guys. There you go, Swanson. God See you later, Swanson. God bless you too, brother. Uh, yeah. Swanson. Swanson, that's your brother. Man, these guys are snappy and they're happy. This is the energy I need in a casino. Not leaving Las Vegas.com slash donate. If you want to use Cash App or if you don't have an account, you can use PayPal. You don't need an account for PayPal to answer your question about how to donate directly. Uh, you can just do a one-time thing with a debit or credit card. This is Benny Hanna. My wife and I have so many memories from Benny Hanna. Why is it so crowded here? Because they know how to market themselves. Because <laughs> they're not stupid. Fountain Blue's dumb. They don't know what crowd they want. They want luxury. This crowd, this, this place will take your money. They'll make their money $10 at a time or $10 million at a time. 
They're not, they're not exclusionary. So Edge Steakhouse here, this is where Elvis used to actually eat. Uh, he would do steak here before his show. He was very regimented. And then we have uh, the ballrooms and the boardrooms and convention centers off to the back. Carbine One, how nice, nobody is demanding ID. Well, it's the night is young, right? You know, forever young. <laughs> Probably won't find those guys at Fountain Blue. I don't know. Maybe those guys are millionaires. You know how many people in the Gulf have money because of oil and stuff? Pretty rad. So yeah, Benihana is really nice. I love Benihana. It's a beautiful place. And I know it's a chain restaurant, but man, if you love Steve Aoki, you come from the Benihana money. Am I using the new camera? No, this is just my iPhone for right now. The new camera, I gotta do something with it after this stream. I'll walk through Resorts World. I'll take some video with some commentary. Talk to you about some stuff here. So this place is just slammed, baby. Mm-hmm. This is the way you do it, folks. Yeah, Swanson looked like a younger dude. He's probably going to have so much fun in Vegas. Hopefully he doesn't, uh, doesn't do any of the stuff I tell you not to do on my channel. God, you got to love Westgate, man. you got to love this place. Bro. Is Steve related to Devin Aoki? That I don't know. Again. Oh, they're playing Bohemian Rhapsody. I already love this place even more now. There's just nothing really nice. You know what Westgate did when their employees had to wear masks? What they did at Westgate was they made customized face masks. So the bottom of the face mask would be the actual person. So they would take a photo of the employee and then they would put the bottom of the mask so you could actually see what that person was supposed to look like. I thought that was very innovative. <laughs> She's waving at the camera. Nice little girl. Oh man, they got body snatchers out here. They're bringing them over to guest services. She's, a, she's aggressive, this one, this timeshare. I used to do that back in the day for a long time, folks. When FB kicked you out, they kicked out a thousand people at once, more than the actual amount of people in the casino. I don't know. Come on, SRT, baby. You're funny, man. I like I like that. That's funny. Okay. You should make a video where you speed run getting ID'd or kicked out of each casino and give a trophy to the fastest one. But that's the thing. I, I, do, li I do like casinos. Guys, I don't want to be kicked out of them. That's not what I'm looking for, man. I'm not trying to, like... I'm not trying to raise the ire of the corporations that make this city's lifeblood and backbone operate, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like y'all going to Fountain Blue? I should, you guys should. Uh, listen, I'm not big enough that people would actually go to Fountain Blue and get mad at them. Nobody's going to the Fountain Blue. Like, if it happened to like Mr. Beast, could you imagine? That's corporate suicide. The the, the fans would go to their page and be like, "You kicked out my favorite streamer guy." I don't think Mr. Beast live streams, but you get my point. That's not happening with me. I'm not big enough. <laughs> Stephen, Westgate might look nice, but when I stayed there last year, the water in the room smelled bad. Ooh, did you tell anybody, David? You gotta bring these things up to the, to the management. I know they wanna make things right for people. Yeah, I mean, nobody's gonna go there and say, hey, you know, I was watching this streamer, you kicked him out, I'm never staying with you. If that was the case, they'd reach out to me. If enough of you guys did that, they'd reach out to me, they'd apologize to me, and then I'd have a story to tell. But that's not gonna happen, unfortunately. I mean, like, look, it was an international incident anyways. So yeah, the convention center is right here. So they do have a, a thing going on, but it's a dance competition and I'm not, I'm not a creep. I'm not gonna go show you guys a bunch of, you know, eight year old girls wearing leotards. That's not what I'm trying to do. <sighs> so. I will William Shitner once. I don't. <laughs> Blue Mar said, I will. I will William Shitner. I guarantee you William Shatner had a problem when he was a young man. And he said, one day I will be more famous than you. You will know the name William Shatner. You won't call me William Shatner anymore. <laughs> Is the Bunny Ranch in Vegas? No, um, it's, it's in Pahrump, I think. It's over the hump in Pahrump. I'm writing a script about this. You guys should watch the channel, subscribe to the channel. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So Fountain Blue needs to lower prices. So this is the way to go. I haven't lost my signal yet. Let's go back to 
Resorts World. Oh my goodness, Dios mio. In two hours and five minutes, how am I getting out of here? Going back to the strip now. Do I have a post office box? No, I don't. Um, my post office box closed. They just up and closed one day. They went out of business. And so like a moron, I keep putting my address in there. I gotta go. I pay for a service called Tube Buddy. Tube Buddy is a YouTube thing for creators and I'm gonna have to go and do a batch edit and remove every instance of my post office box from all like thousand of my videos using that. Mm, but yeah, that was better than Mike Tyson. Oh, the uh, Shatner, Shitner, William Shitner. William Shitner sounds like something you'd see in like Cracked Magazine or something. We're gonna go past, <laughs> this is back to Elvis Presley way. We're gonna go right past Fountain Blue again. Yeah, what the hell is even next to Fountain Blue? Nothing. Strip has easy access to Allegiant and T-Mobile, yeah. Fountain Blue should have a very cheap buffet. That'll get people, not really. My impression of William Shatner. William Shatner, man. Packed my bags last night, pre-flight. 5 a.m., zero hour. I'm gonna be high as a kite. I have two of your masks. Oh, that's sweet, Reggie. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So this sign has been damaged by the wind. You can actually see it here. Jen Kramer is a Canadian magician over here at Westgate. But yeah, that's uh, damaged by the wind there. So if you haven't subscribed, here's what I want to tell you. By the way, who's, who's, who's here for the first time? Anybody here for the first time? Say yes in the chats if you're here for the first time. I'd like to say hello to you, and I want to say your name. So if you're here for the first time, say yes in the chats so I can make a connection with you. That would be cool. <clears throat> Is Jen Kramer a good show? I mean, it's been there for a long time, so I suppose it must be a good show. You know, they don't keep bad shows around in Vegas for long. A Salvaro is first timer. Cool. Tiffany says, loving the channel. Thank you. Tay Rob says, first time commenting. Thank you, Tay Rob, for that. A Salvaro says, it's an awesome stream. Well, I like old radio broadcasters and I, you know, just to me to show you deadness and be like, that's the Turnberry. Michael Jordan has a place there. That's boring. Uh, Eric Tanny says yes. My buddy Matt says no, he's not. Absinthe is the best show, Stan says. Hope that theater gets built for Absinthe. We're walking back to the strip right now. Iliud Vasquez de Jesus says yes. Steven Prowersick says Rob and nervous. Subscribe. We're going to be doing Sundays with Steven around 8 or 9 in the morning Pacific Standard Time this Sunday. That's our regular schedule. And uh, we're going to be showing you guys some news updates, the craziest things that happened, doing a recap about stuff. Then we're going to be hitting on that stream uh, places that you ain't never seen before. And I had a place and I said the place and now I don't remember the place that I was going to go. But it might be down this way, down George Judge Joe Brown. I don't know. Travel Hungry says, first time, my friend, enjoying the Westgate tour. Thank you, Travel Hungry for life. Um, if you don't know, what I do on my channel is very different and unconventional. I do deep dives into issues, social issues. Not in a, I'm not woke, but I'm, what I mean is social issues and, and, and like, here's the homeless in Vegas. This is a social issue. You, you tell me what you think. And then I say, this is a problem. There's people getting murdered in hotel rooms. There was a literal hit job. I think it was a lined up hit job. A murder in the MGM. I'm doing that script right now. That's a social issue. You tell me. Here's the stats. Here's the facts. I don't tell you what to think. I don't tell you that this place is Disneyland for adults. I tell you it's great. Here's how to keep yourself safe. I'm not auditioning for the hotels, okay? So subscribe if you like that idea. What's the Arco price? It just has dollar signs on it. What's the gas price? Uh, $4.39 at the gas station for cash, it's like 30 cents more, usually if you pay on a card. Ba, 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 ba. I'm the opposite of folk. <laughs> I am, uh, yes. But yeah, so I'm not on caffeine. I'll use a coffee every other day, maybe. I don't do it on the weekends. I'm not addicted, I went off of it for 30 days. Today, I bought maca, which is a type of herb they've used in India for a billion years. 
I took two grams of maca, OMG. Am I ever energized? Craziness. Yeah, gas is getting more expensive. Summer blends is what they say, I don't know. That's why it is, I guess, who knows. That's a political issue that's way over my head. Pricey gas, 360 in Utah, Ute territory. Utah. Utah was gonna be called the state of Deseret back in the day. Probably didn't know that. I'm hopped up on Bob West, fair enough. But, um, yeah, Utah was gonna be called Deseret. The state of Deseret. But they were not allowed to be called the state of Deseret. Does anybody know why? Do you care? <laughs> Don't complain. Well, I mean, I can say like, all sorts of things are better off here than in the UK. But how many years live streamer, Steven? I've seen you since 2017. Okay, well, no, it might seem that long. I did my first ever live stream in I didn't know that about Utah. Yeah, you don't know that. I did my first live stream in June of 2019. My channel started in January of 2019. Well, technically not. I mean, the account was created way before then, but I started doing Vegas stuff in January 1st of 2019, and I got lucky, I was able to stream, and I'm doing it since 2019. <clears throat> so, Utah was gonna be called Deseret, and actually, there's a newspaper called the Deseret News. There's actually a thrift store called Deseret Industries. And the state signs on the highways in Utah are bumblebee hives. As far as I understand it, Deseret means hive mentality or hive or busy bees or something to that effect. It's a religious term. And Congress rejected the naming of the state. They couldn't call it Deseret because states were not allowed to be named religious things. Can't wait to get there, brother. First thing is 1,000 on red. Good old never leaving Las Vegas fashion. Never leaving Vegas fashion. Very cool. So that's fountain blue. My arch nemesis. No, they're not my arch nemesis. But that guard kind of amped me up a little bit. I mean, like Will Smith would say. I mean, like, woo! That was a weird stream, man. <laughs> I broke the social credit score. I am on a list at Fountain Blue. Go ahead, guys. Email Fountain Blue. Dear Fountain Blue, this is the hottest letter I've ever had to write. On the night of March 22nd, 2024, you kicked out my streamer not leaving Las Vegas. Your god was rude, and he demanded his ID, and nearly body checked him. He, the guy was gonna, like the guy was in my face. <laughs> I'll, get an, I'll, get, I'll get a social media message from Fountain Blue. And at first I'll be excited. I'll be like, oh my gosh, they reached out to me. And then it'll say, dear Stephen Campbell, don't ever come back or else the police will be called. You jerk off. Sincerely, Fountain Blue. <laughs> they don't care about me. They don't care about, of course they have my. They don't care. They care about, I don't know, who? Who do they care? They want like, who's the biggest celebrity? I'm not a celebrity guy, so I couldn't tell you who the biggest celebrity in the world is right now. Of course I have my picture. Anyway. Ric Flair. There is also Ric Flair says that. $150 ducks help pay for security. Jeez. Oh, it's been a trip, man. Every night I go out, I don't know what I'm gonna see, but I know it's gonna be good. That's why you should subscribe to the channel and follow along to us. Two more tricks until retirement. Four nights of Cosmo, one in the middle of May. Good on you, bro. Sarah, can I have your papers? Your papers, Sarah. No. Good heavens, like the comic book guy. Good heavens, no. <laughs> Worst hotel ever. Anyways, I'm gonna put this down for half a sec. Drink a little bit of water. Fountain Blue didn't lose no customers. If you guys think that, then you should, yeah. If you guys really say that, sure. Shoot them an email, send them a text. I dare you, nobody will do it. I don't expect you to do it. But yeah, they probably, 
turned one or two of you off, but they don't care. They're, they're looking for, they want Justin Timberlake and his crew to show up. They're banking on, you know, they're banking on Elon Musk showing up with his company and buying up the whole entire floor of the convention center. And make no doubt about it, no do to boot it, Mark Wahlberg, <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, what was that? Mark Wahlberg will see things out for you before long Fountain Blue will let you use their empty. I like Mark, Mark, Mark Wahlberg, man. What a dude. What a nice down to earth family guy. Oh man, not like Peter Griffin, but I mean like he's a family man, you know? Dude, that'd be great. Is the Red Hotel Resorts World. Correct, Amendo. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is the Resorts World. It says Conrad. That's one of the brands at the hotel. Got Cron Conrad and Crockfords and Cromwell. And uh, no, not Crockford, not Cromwell. Son of a gun. That's its own thing. That's a hotel down the strip. So Conrad, uh, Crockfords, and Hilton. You know? And then you gotta be like, they'll start throwing cops once it becomes apparent that the hotel will fail. I actually reached out to them. I reached out to them to do work with them, but they didn't respond. Oh, we're doing the Vegas dance where nobody knows which side they're walking on. So I, so I was gonna say, I want them to succeed. I want them to be successful. So I'm not a hater. It just won't be with me. Crockfold sounds swanky. Yes. Excuse me, darling, we're going to Vegas. We're gonna stay at Crockford's. Staying on the 67th floor, darling. No sign in the window for us. I've got the whole floor all to myself. Yes. What are they planning right beside me? I don't know, but they're sure maybe they're building a BMX track. This is the old Riviera site for what it's worth. Back in the day, baby. The Conrad in Singapore is very nice. Yeah, I mean, so Hilton owns those brands and they're luxury brands and what they're hoping is that people will see the luxury brand and then book it while they're in Vegas. And maybe to a point that true, that might work. You know, Eileen, more red hotel, not blue hotel. Oh, I see what you're doing. I think they're, it's called Pompsy Land. So Pompsy's building a property here apparently. You heard it here first. The news was broken to you right here by Time Walker. <laughs> so yeah let's go back over to others. whoa geez that, you gotta be so loud why are you mad what oh now it's not doing anything oh it shut up real fast on the back side of conrad it looks like there's already a lot of wasted space with a big red area but in the area where the windows it looks like there's a big empty space too yeah, so I don't actually know how that works. I'm not sure how the tower's constructed. You're right, there's no, there's no space there. That almost blew out my speakers. I apologize for that. That almost blew out my eardrums. Was that the found <laughs> blue security? We are collecting a large collection of memes. So join the channel, head up over to on Patreon. Patreon.com slash not leaving Las Vegas. And you guys can be part of the community, the local Las Vegans community that we're building out here. What countries are broken all across the country? Well, that seems like an election issue, sir. That's an election issue. If elected, I'll fix all the Woken Brock, all the Woken Brock buttons. Whoa, my brain screwed up. I will, folks, folks, whoa. Oh, it's been a long day. I get up at six in the morning. It's 844 at night. I'll fix all the broken walk buttons. If elected, am I going to Circus Circus? No, couple of reasons no. Number one reason, the signal doesn't work. Number two reason, there's innocent kids in there. I don't film innocent kids and throw them on YouTube. I think that seems really off-putting to me, but that's my personal stance and you might think it's dumb and I respect that you think I'm dumb if you think I'm dumb. Mark Wahlberg is helping to build a 1.8. Yes, Mark Wahlberg is involved, that's good. <laughs> I had to deal with an agent. Oh man, from the Matrix. So we don't go into Circus Circus. We were in Slots of Fun earlier. I'm getting over here so I can get into the resorts world and hopefully sit for a minute if there's a chair. 
when I was a kid, I would watch circus shows. They still have those circus shows. We got the Mick, the Mick Resorts, the Mick, the Resorts Mick World. There you go. Okay. Vegas isn't on Mountain Time. No, we're on Pacific Standard Time. So it's currently 8.46 and 68 degrees. 79 degrees today, my goodness. Nice, this is a police station. I don't think there's anybody in here right now. I think there is at times, mostly for show. Maybe there's somebody watching me through that one-way mirror. Is the ice cream machine working? Johnny Harris explained why they're not. I wonder what McDonald's would be like in the next hundred years. They will be selling McCricket burgers. Slots of fun, carbine one, whoa, slots of fun. Is that Vegas vacation location where they win the car? I think that was the Riv. I want to say, whoa, the wind just got bad. Look at the wind kicking up. I want to say that might be Riviera. If you guys want to watch a good fun movie, I don't know where you can get it on streaming, but Vegas Vacation was a good Vegas movie from back in the 90s. It was worth watching again, I think. You saw a midget box of kangaroo at Circus Circus. I'll take things you can't do anymore for $100, Alex. Midget tossing, you can't even use that name anymore. Thank you, Chucky Gold says I'm Oh, Chucky Gold's back. Hey, Chucky Gold. How long has that police station been there? Since about two years ago. Listen, they told us we're gonna eat bugs. That's what they said. They said, you're gonna eat bugs because of sustainability. I'm not, you think I'm pushing a political? I'm not, I'm telling you what they said. I think fast food places are pushing the apps to use to automate it more in the future, yes. $35 unhappy meals. You know, Burger King did the unhappy meal a few years ago as a gimmick. It wasn't $35, but they did that. Nick Papa Giorgio. Yeah, Papa G Grigo. I can't remember his name. Yeah, it's a good movie. I'm not going to spoil it for you if you want to watch it. Nick Juan, four cars. Who eats fast food in 2024? Me, after this stream, once a week, me and my wife. We have a nice little night. We watch an hour of episodic content on a streaming service, and uh, or we watch a documentary style history thing. The District, Vegas Loop, Zook. Let's go in this way. Just asking, you spoke to me on your live stream about two years ago at Planet Hollywood. Oh, thanks Ford Fixer, did I miss your ask? What did you ask earlier? The Ford Fixer asked something, I didn't see it. Ford Fixer, I didn't see it, my man, I'm sorry. If there was a comment and you asked a question, thank you for watching. Yes. Uh, joke, question, do you know who hates farts the most midgets? Ha ha. Get thrown out of the Riviera. Eat bugs and own nothing and you'll like it. Steve, have I tried Whataburger? I've had Whataburger in Texas. Uh, we went to Austin, I ate Whataburger there. Good stuff, I like Whataburger. I highly recommend it. But there's one here on the Strip. And the good thing about the one here on the Strip is that it's only like $1.50 more than Whataburger anywhere else. So I give them mad props for that, you know? So that's good stuff. So, uh, Resorts World is a failure? No, I like Resorts World. I think it's doing good business from what it seems. But there's a red guarded security guard here. We'll see if he turns me away because I've seen a lot of streamers get turned away out of this place. So we'll see. See if he allows us to go in. He might not allow us to go in. Hello, how you doing? What are the Soylent Girl Scout cookies made out of? People? People! See, she didn't say Jack to me. That was nice. That's good. She said hello. She waved and smiled. Nice to see waving, smiling people. They're putting something special together. <sighs> the grilled chicken burgers at Hungry Jack Burger Kings are the best. I like the, I like the garbage chicken burgers. They're incredibly unhealthy, but I eat them too much. Gained a lot of weight, so that's why we just do fast food once a night. Colleen, thank you so much, Colleen. I think Colleen joined Patreon just a couple of days ago, too. So there you go. And if you guys want to help our fast food budget for my wife and I for our one date night, night that we sit down and do something, you can go to notleavinglasvegas.com forward slash donate. And you can do that even after the stream if you want to. Sleek Hotel. Resorts World is nice. I like this place. So that's good. 
All right, so let's sit down for just a moment here. Let's do some uh, some housekeeping business here. Which casino? We're in Resorts World right now, so thank you guys. Uh, down on the fronty view, fronty flippy view, and we're gonna say that this was cool. What do I do to relax? CBD, weed, or alcohol? CBD, but I also use kava sometimes. Kava is not an intoxicant. You can take kava. You shouldn't drive on it if you have a resort like a reaction to it. But kava is good, but you can't mix it with alcohol. I don't drink alcohol because it makes me a not nice person. And I don't use uh, I don't use cannabis, but I like CBD. That works good. Um, Audible Compromise keeps posting the numbers from the TV show Lost. Um, Fountain Blue. There's more people in the walkway than all the Fountain Blue. Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, we're going to do our Sundays with Steven coming up uh, on Sunday morning. We start that around 8 or 9 in the morning. So if you guys want to tune in, we're going to take you to places that you usually can't access at night. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel for that. If you guys want to get extra content coming up tomorrow, I'm going to do an unedited walk and talk. It's going to be me using this camera. I'll show you it right now. This is what... So some people got upset because I said the channel helped fund this camera and they got pissed off and that's fine. You can get mad. I didn't ask you, you didn't force you. So this is a, um, a DJI Pocket 3. So we're going to turn it on there and then you can see the, uh, the camera. So we're going to fund, oh man, that's inception. Look at that. So we're going to film this and I have uh, actually a, um, a microphone that we're going to clip on. You go to patreon.com forward slash not leaving Las Vegas to get that. I'm also going to post this up for channel members as well. So if you guys want to go and um, do a channel member or a Patreon, you're going to get extra content on this. And that helps us out on a regular basis, a revolving basis. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, we're going to be filming a lot more stuff that nobody shows you with this kind of stuff. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe. If you guys want to hit me up and send me an email to tell me something, you can do it right here. Text me a, a, an idea for a content for videos or te text me or send me an email on some kind of hot tip if you want to. That is a pocket three Pomsey, yes. And I got that just on Wednesday on the 20th. So now we are on Friday and we get to actually use it. So check out the Patreon. You get an extra video tomorrow that or channel memberships. Either way you want to roll with that. I like Patreon because they only take 6% whereas channel memberships takes 30 or 40, but it's whatever, it's contributions. This channel is the best. Where else can you explore Las Vegas and not have to deal with traffic people in extremely high prices and have a front row seat? Thank you so much. You guys are great. I love you all for watching. Please be with me on Sunday mornings. Subscribe to the channel. We are aiming for 100,000 here on YouTube. Sundays with Steven on Sundays. Live streams on Fridays. Videos on Thursdays. You guys are great. Stan says you won't have an uh, issue if you sell with a film with a cell phone. Not true because you can't stabilize a cell phone and you have to put it on a gimbal. And they're looking for cell phones, but they're not looking for a tiny little camera. But I love y'all. You guys are great. You guys are wonderful. Bye.